Hey everybody, I'm Surreal Canine, and this is Trails of Creation. And the music stopped. Maybe I should find a different source for this. Uh, So how's everybody tonight? I am not voting. Uh, didn't uh, get much of a chance to do any research on who's running for what. But that is okay because our creator up in heaven, he's in control. Ain't nobody gonna stop him from doing what he wants to have done, so. Don't really need to worry about it! Even if things look bad for a little while. Not that I know what is gonna look bad for how long, but. Stuff. It happens. <laughs> Just uh, waiting for my players tonight. Tonight, I mean, obviously it's tonight, and I am waiting for my players. You know what? Let's just uh, do some. Idle Spiral is not running, excuse me, it's Steam. <sighs> Finally maxed out my uh, Giga Earrings and Anti Idle. Only to somehow screw up my hit and dodge chance in the Endless Dungeon, I'm gonna have to take a look at that for tomorrow's raid. And Russ is... What is he playing right now? Mega Man. Uh, what kind of Mega Man? I'm actually not sure. But yeah, he's playing a Mega Man classic something, something, something. Which is pretty cool. I got Mega Man music playing right there. And it's pretty rad. Um, shoot, I hope I don't have to engage biology for like half an hour right at the start of the stream. <laughs> Not gonna be a good time. Da -da 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 -da. Star Force had some pretty good music. Only a matter of time until we get a collection of that, I bet. And if it's gonna be weird playing it on something that isn't a DS. <laughs> there's, there's quite a bit of stuff that was made with the. Uh, Double screens and the touch screens, something like uh, I wonder how Capcom's gonna set that up. I mean, when Square Enix ported The World Ends With You to iOS and then to Switch, it was like. You had to pretty much redesign everything. Very much a game originally made with the DS in mind. And now we don't have all that wacky wackiness anymore. <laughs> yeah, 
it's almost 7 o'clock and nobody is here. Probably... Okay. Possibly impossible. <laughs> well, uh, I sure was not notified when you joined the voice chat. Howdy, Anna. Hey there. How are you? Doing pretty good. A little tired. I woke up a little earlier than I usually do to make a iced tea delivery to my dad, who is uh, on election staff tonight. Mom is too. She's gonna be going out again soon. Oh, sounds busy. Yep. Yeah, for those of you not living in the United States, it's election day today. Anyway, uh... So, Fox brought up the idea in some of his recent streams that you should join our other RPG that was on hold for a little while, but I think he wants to start it up again soon. The other RPG? Yeah. I don't think it has a name, but uh, we could alternate Trails of Creation with that. Give us both a little bit more time to prepare our respective materials. And I really want to get back to that game, because I am actually a player in that game. <laughs> you are actually a player. And that means whatever character you come up with is going to have to deal with Lunas and all his shenanigans. <laughs> Lunas is, uh... Well, you know who Lunas is. He's Bastion's dad. His other dad. Which one? He, <laughs> he has multiples. <laughs> His Hydra dad. Who used to be Lucario, but he's kind of both now, because... Uh, because Tiamat when he got involved. Lunas is, like, one of my oldest role-playing characters, and, uh, he's always got dumb stuff going on. Actually named by a guy who uh, used to come to our church, who was also named Ian. <laughs> uh -huh. So, fancy that, right? Yeah, funny how that works. Yeah. He was kind of a weird kid. I mean, I'm also kind of a weird kid, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're ones to be calling people weird, right? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, just waiting for Fox at this point. I'm sure he he has gotten the random random phone calls and the uh, random sudden phone calls, hurricane stuff going on. Uh, he was trying to get a bunch of his plants inside. It sounded like. Also, I think he said something about wanting to work before the stream today. So I don't know if he got a call or I don't know if he got a job or what. Mm -hmm. Could be out doing anything. Or there was an accident and he is, like, seriously hurt, but, uh, let's hope that's not the case. Yes, extremely hypothetical scenarios. Yes. I mean, when you live with as many animals as he does, sometimes you just get jumped on or trip over the wrong thing. We'll see. If he doesn't show up by 7.20, uh, I'm gonna stop the stream and play Sonic Frontiers instead. Because <laughs> it's out, and I really want to play it, but I'm doing this instead. Sonic <laughs> Frontiers, the one with the... the uh, we were joking about it being kind of like uh, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah.
guys are going to get to hear me yawn a whole bunch. But that's also pretty normal. <laughs> have a character who yawns all the time and can be a yawn tea something. <laughs> Snake yawns are pretty big are pretty big. I think of Pokemon like Slowpoke. <laughs> yeah there there you go. You could have, like, have an NPC that, that's always asleep in every scene. Mm. Look, it's the same, that same slowpoke. Hmm. Must be awake at some points, otherwise how does he get every single scene? <laughs> but, uh, uh, when he <clears throat> actually shows up, he's asleep. That sounds about right to me. Say. Throw in one of those with every on. <laughs> Alternate. <laughs> At least I don't have the hiccups. Then we would really have something. <clears throat> Feel like I might have caught you hiccuping one time. <laughs> But uh, I don't remember <laughs> that one. Nobody could yeah. say my old name would watch a hiccup stream. <laughs> um, pretty sure it happened during one of Fox's streams. <laughs> I forget what he was playing at the time. <laughs> Sometimes I get the hiccups after I eat too much bread too fast. That's 
That's uh, about the only thing that does it consistently, though. <laughs> um <laughs> Nothing it works consistently, no. <laughs> Yeah, I'd better download, uh, Sanic. 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 Yeah, just so I have something to do tonight. No, I scrolled too far. Eh. Now you're downloading a, um, uh, a free Google Toolbar. <laughs> Given how fast he is and everything else, it probably sounds really weird. How do I only have, like, a hundred gigabytes left of stuff? Gigabytes? Hey, there he is. Yeah, sorry, Sylvie decided right when I was sitting down was the perfect for RP. It was the perfect time to projectile vomit down my leg, so I had to Ew. shower. I had to shower that off real quick. Jeez. Sylvie! <laughs> now she's back. Don't you throw up on me again, cat. The question is, is still from everything she ate last night. Yeah, she was throwing up all last night from like, all the fr extra eating sphere stuff. <laughs> yeah, boy, look out, lucky. <clears throat> all right, let me get set up and then we'll. You need to put like a padlock on the pantry door or something. I have one. I just didn't get a clip it shut. All righty. Alright, let me link the music that I've been playing for the last 8 19 minutes. I sure hope not. What? Somebody in chat. Sure hope not. Oh, you got somebody in chat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, previously on Trails of Creation, the party, and by the party I mean just Bastion and Dragomir, uh, snuck into Monsteriopolis uh, by way of the sea. They met a, they met a couple of, uh, met a couple of shopkeepers, uh, delivered that elixir of plushification, finally. And, uh, they... They, uh, helped some... Uh, they helped some ecological activists, uh, defend their rally from a supervillain attack. Thank you, Sylvie, for hitting the keyboard. <laughs> keyboard kid. Doo -doo -doo. All right, let me... Oh no, OBS explosion. Turn to be a big shot. Yeah. Okay. Boy, here we go. Dominic and I, Dominic and I actually beat Spamped and Neo on our last Delta Rune stream. Yeah, I, you, you were about to start there, but I had a job come up and I missed it, so I was like, ah. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I, ah. I did it on my first try. He wasn't actually that hard. It's Sylvie. But, Sorry, uh, Sylvie, the Sylvie unmuted the stream and it caused echo, uh, echo chamber of eh, 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 eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, yeah, okay. I beat him on my first try, come back kid did not. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, he's not actually that good at Delta Rune. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oop, okay, see ya, nobody. 
The, the guy's name is Nobody Could Say My Old Name. Oh. Okay. Sylvie is here in being the pest. Hello. So yeah, it's just gonna... It is, no late game thing is just gonna be with it. Oh, let me put Bastion up. The older thing of Bastion, because I still need to finish the, whatever dragon thing it's gonna look like. There we go, Sylvie. You better not throw up on me again, because that was nasty. Alright, so, um... It was worse last night, although she missed me, she was about to throw up on my computer. Ooh. So I had to throw her off real quick. Okay. And she hit she hit the ground and spun, and it went like, what? And like a circle spin. And I Ooh. took forever to clean that up, yeah. <laughs> like I didn't throw her hard, I just like went on the floor and threw her to skid away from the computer, and she just, Bleh. <laughs> That's what you get for eating so much food. Actually, wasn't that Sunday night? Yeah, well, she threw up. She was throwing up last night too. Yeah. I mean, they ate so much food. <laughs> Expensive. They ate like five days worth of food. Yeah. yeah. I know my Milo is staring at me because there's a hurricane coming in, and he's like, Aww. he's conflicted because he's like, I want in away from the hurricane, but I'm also a stray cat and I don't want to go in your house. So I'll go in, but I don't want to be near your cats and dogs. And... <laughs> I tried to let him in before Ian, and uh, he like started jumping against the windows and stuff, so that didn't work. Out. <laughs> I think it's lucky. Lucky buddy. All right. Oh, I'm here for RP. We got the kitties here. Okay, so yeah, I think you guys uh, were on your way to the guild. Yeah, because uh, somebody who had uh, Bastion had contact. Uh, the the brother of somebody Bastion knew or something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, weren't weren't we trying to find out about the Midden Hall guy or something? Looking for yeah. information, something. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, trying to find that. Knows, and who knows where he's went by now? <laughs> we were trying to get uh, to go to the guild too, because hopefully we could find they could help us get some more ofi official papers to avoid problems and stuff. Mm -hmm. Lap, he's bucket. Okay, well, uh, get a uh, you get a taxi. It's Ernie again. He's like, hey, uh, fancy running into you guys again. How's it going? It's going good. I already ran into some weirdo with a drill tank. <laughs> oh, is that why the road's all broken up? Huh. Yeah. It's well, uh, you know. well, hop in. Well, all right. Okay. Go to the guild. Yep. After you, after you pay the fare, uh, he drives Bastion and Dragomir uh, to the to the guild office, which is uh, it's in a different part of the city. Uh, not seeing as many uh, toon taxis on this street. Yeah. Actually, I guess you're hardly seeing any on this street. Uh, and as you're about to enter the, as you're about to enter the guild office, a cat bus uh, walks up to Ernie and starts pestering him. What the heck? Uh, what? What's going on here? Can't concentrate on NPC dialogue when there's music playing. It turns out. That is certainly that's an unexpected thing to see here. The cat bus. Hey, hey, this place is weird. A bus with a cat head, or uh, it's a bus that carries uh, it's, cats. It's a creature from my neighbor Totoro. Let me uh, see if I can pull up an image. As if it was a bus that carries cats. <laughs> then a bus that carries everyone you would call an omnibus. Alright, I found a picture. Um... Uh... 
wolf. The wolf. This is the cat bus. Oh, yes, that thing. Got quite a few legs. Yep. It oh, also yeah. has headlight eyes and stuff. It's weird. Yeah. yeah, anyway, Catbus says something uh, about this about this being Catbus turf, and, uh, he, and Ernie needs to ride on out of here. Uh, that's kind of mean. We're the ones who asked him for the ride. It's just, I mean, hey, when you take when you take a customer to somewhere, you're getting paid. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I wouldn't stick around any longer than I need to, you know. Well, I think the only reason he's sticking around longer is because you're sitting here talking to him and about him being here. Hmm. I mean, if you don't want somebody if you don't want somebody around, why do you stop them and then talk to them and yell at them? That seems like. A way to get them to stick around? Yeah, whatever. You, watch your bumper. And he... and he leaves. What a rude cat bus. Eh, shit happens. Why is it when I run into a lot of other felines, they're always so mean? <laughs> and like... Like, the heck? I don't know, uh, you, you saying cats aren't mean? I'm not mean. <laughs> I mean, I'm, not, I'm technically not a cat right now, but I'm normally a cat. Or was. I still am, kind of, technically. <laughs> it's weird, but uh, I'm sure you're used to it. Uh, Alright, well, we won't keep you if you gotta worry about cat buses being... Yep, uh, see you around. Alright. And he drives off. I wonder what would happen if there was a cat bus taxi. A cat taxi? <laughs> huh. A taxi bus. I don't have the data for either of those to see what would happen. Oh well, I'll have to get that later, maybe. Let's see. I need a good theme for the guild office. Yeah, so if you hear really like strong like wind noises and thunder and heavy rain and hail, there's a hurricane coming in here. And if you Very hear unusual. that, it means I am getting spam, probably election related. Yeah, I was getting that too. I've been getting like spam today. Like you didn't vote. <clears throat> you need to vote. Hurry and vote. Like I already voted. I voted. Like what the heck? I didn't. <laughs> There were some people pestering people and like trying to intimidate people, but I just mm. ignored them. I wanted to say like you're, 80, you're it's like you're eighty years old. You're not intimidating anybody. Stop it. Hmm. When I tried to early vote, there was a huge like line of big dually pickup trucks blocking okay, the thing off. So. I... I get that every year, though. It's like the whole local party. It's like, we didn't, we saw you didn't vote. We saw you didn't vote. Like, I did vote. <laughs> I'm guessing they just send it out <laughs> by default. Like, I always vote when I can. And Mishka is, like, Mishka looks like she's... You look like an angel dog there with your blinding light. <laughs> She's a it's shiny pupper. It's the husky of light. That's supposed to be at the tiger of light, but I heard dragon of light, but I guess husky works too. Huh? Blinding puppy. Alrighty, we've got the guild music. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, you. <clears throat> Uh, what was I saying? All right. Well, uh, you yeah. spot you. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, yeah. The guild office seems uh, 
about as busy as you'd expect for such a big city. Over on one of the over on one of the uh, couches off in the corner, you see Megan talking with one of the uh, one of your Pokemon. Which Pokemon? Which one? Um, shoot. Um, that's certainly something sprung out of nowhere. Bash doesn't even remember all the ones he had, but I mean, <laughs> got a he had I don't know a bunch of different types. They, I don't know. He, uh, Toto dial the for alligator thing. I don't know. That okay. seems like something you would have. All right, uh, he's a Toto dial. Alrighty. Uh, they haven't noticed you yet. Oh, I think I know them. I, I hope, maybe. Turn it. I hate having my, my memories freaking gone because of stupid stuff. Uh, oh, Bastion's comfortable again. So just walk over. <laughs> Hi, Bastion. Whoa. Yeah, that's me. Check it out, Bastion. I got hands now. Megan show Megan shows off her hands. She uh, seems really excited about this. Wait, what was Megan before? Megan is a Bulbasaur. <laughs> oh. Oh, she's their anthro. <laughs> Not exactly, but uh, oh. She yeah, hands are very... good. <laughs> yeah. We gotta name this Totodile. Something easy to remember for a Totodile, Irwin? I don't know. <laughs> Irwin, sure. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, Bastion. Yep. Uh, you look hey. you look different. Yeah, I bet I do. Uh, <laughs> does Bastion remember his name? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Irwin. <laughs> yep, that's me. Oh man, where have it... you been? Um, on another world. Oh. After things ended, I got yeah, yeah, rescued and like brought over and reborn or something. I don't know. It's it's a weird. It was a weird thing that happened. Well, um... I, mean, I don't know. Getting turned into a Ryulu and then like I got uh, taken in by uh, Lucario and. Uh, but first we I ran. Family. But, but first we ran around with an idiot for like a month. Yeah. Um. <laughs> that's that's pretty nuts. Yeah, it is pretty nuts. It even it's even more nuts. I mean, yep. I mean, the tiger stuff's there, but like the dragon stuff came out. It's it's a thing. <laughs> For my dragon mom, it's something. I'm glad to see more people, though. Like, I was wondering where everyone was, if everyone was okay. My memory's not all there, unfortunately, after stuff, so... Oof. That's... that, uh... that sucks. Yeah, it sounds like it's pretty common, though, for people that went through stuff. You're here in the guild, huh? Uh... I was gonna... Actually, I was, uh... Gonna... I was looking for you, actually. Looking for me? Yeah, I figure it's... Been however long, uh... I don't know. It's lonely here in a big city all by yourself. 
Yeah, it definitely can be. Cities aren't the most comfortable places to be. Tell me about it. Uh, like, gotta gotta drive like ten miles if I want to go for a swim anywhere. Kind of bad. They don't even have pools or anything around for. I mean, there's got to be a lot of other like water types around. It's, sheesh. The public pools are expensive. They aren't very public then if they're expensive. <laughs> Eh. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, good to see you again. Yeah, it is. I've been really hoping to find everybody as I've been going around. Um, uh, already been to, already been to the north and had a big adventure there, so, uh, we came here and are probably gonna get caught up and stuff. It's just how it always seems to go. <laughs> Oh, you know what, Bastion? I got someone to introduce you to. Hey, yeah? big bro! Oh, that's... Is that who we came here for? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's there's... who we came to meet. <laughs> yeah. There's a sky shaman uh, across the room talking with uh, what looks like a wolf with a really sick afro. And are those ram horns on the wolf? Uh, I don't know. It's what? Hard to tell from that distance. Huh. Well, that's a combo I've never seen before. Is that a wolf? Megan, I, Megan, I'm trying to have the, I'm trying to have client talks too. Oh, um, sorry. It's okay. Well, we can uh, wait. Uh. Got plenty of time. This dragon here needs to do something or add something or look for something or pick up jobs. What? I don't think he's a member of the dragon. Beer, are you a member of the guild? Uh, no, not really. Oh. Uh, All right. Well, uh, yeah. Rollo and the uh, the wolf uh, continue talking for a while. Uh, Megan. Megan and Erwin share uh, some of their some of their own stories with you. Let me think. What would Erwin be doing here in the city? I wonder. I mean, I don't know. If Bastion was always Bastion, you'd probably look for a place where there's trouble or adventures to be found. I don't know. <laughs> well, there's no no short of it adventures to be had around here. Uh, definitely true enough there, it seems. Alright, uh, after that, the uh, after that, Afro Wolf leaves, and the uh, Rolo flies over. So you're a bastion, huh? Yep, that's me. Nice. So, uh, name's Rolo. I'm a... I'm one of the local heroes. Hey, it's nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Definitely want, we wanted to come here. He nods and, uh, he nods and shakes your hand. I definitely wanted to come uh, meet the Jed because I heard about you a little bit. Yeah, hey Megan, uh, are you. Uh, you'll have a job later tonight. Uh, we could use your help with uh, the mission I've got. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, what's the mission? Well. Uh... Okay. Bomb is going back to work. Fun, fun. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Rollo uh, motions toward one of the uh, confidential conference rooms. Uh, 
Megan looks over at Erwin. Oh, um, yeah, that's fine. We can do stuff after. Something big going down, huh? Something like that. Well, I guess we're gonna have to wait for you to get done with your stuff. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, Rollo and Megan go into the... Roland and Rollo and Megan go into the other room. What's going on? What looks like it's pretty busy around here. No telling if it, if that drill do the weird drill dude was a typical sort of thing happening. I bet there's tons of work around here. Well, let's talk with like the receptionist and like the guild leader person here, so we can get maybe we can get our, some papers set up here. They have a bunch of desks in the in the uh, guild hall. <clears throat> Uh, they've got couches and coffee tables. Oh, it's a, it's a low-key, uh, guild hall. I mean, the receptionist has a desk, but... Everywhere else, it's, uh, either... Note, it's either notice boards for the heroes, or places to talk about things with clients. At least I should get registered with the guild. Well, I mean, I'm already registered with the guild, but let them know I'm here. <laughs> uh, maybe we can get some paperwork to avoid stuff. Well, first thing the first thing a receptionist does is uh, congratulate you on uh, being able to get in here. What with the uh, what with the lockdown and all. Oh, yeah. Kind of weird for having a lockdown going on like that, but I guess with all this war stuff trying to go on, boy. Yeah. And that mess in the north. <clears throat> well, we took care of that in the north, and so. It uh... <laughs> and it doesn't help that we uh, we're kind of obligated to stay neutral in issues like this. We have branches in Spalone too. Yeah. Uh, well, in any, well, in any case, welcome to Monsteropolis. Yep. I've definitely had a little bit of experience with it. I already fought one bad guy who popped up in a drill, so... And then some weirdo climbed up, came in, took him and claimed credit and gave a speech and took off, because... That's just weird. Not that it's really about who has the credit, but I just thought it was weird. Like, <laughs> yes, who does that? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, somebody who really wants attention, I guess. I guess. You go like all my hero academy hero type there. With like, oh, just gotta get to the top of the ratings charts. I, I hope. They I mean, don't have those, telling, do they? <laughs> you're telling me the, the academy doesn't have students like that? Oh yeah, they do. Oh yeah, they certainly do. Doesn't mean it's not weird. Yeah, like, I don't know if there are hero charts and stuff in this area. That probably wouldn't help, or it would explain why he's like they were like that. But uh, yeah, we need to get some paperwork here, considering uh, all the stuff going on. A receptionist nods, turns to Dragomir. What about you? Uh... Yeah, some official papers would be nice too, but I'm not really a member of the guild, so. Ah, you're a part. Ah, you're a party member. Yes, I guess that All is right, what you would uh... call me. Yep, uh, we can register you as Bastion's assistant then. Doesn't take uh, too long. Rolo and Megan come out by that point. All right. Perfect. That should keep things uh, a little easier to deal with. I hope. <laughs> yeah. Megan looks excited about uh, whatever's going on. Uh, Rolo looks a little bit troubled about it. 
Uh, I wonder what's going on there. Okay, I'm registered up here, so I guess if they need help with something, but, uh... Hmm... So is there any, like, crazy stuff? I mean, outside of the normal crazy stuff going on. Well, there's the... There's the matter of the infinite improbability power plant. Yeah, I heard about that. That's yeah, it's been it's been running for two months now, but uh, see, every now and then you get reports from of just weird stuff happening along the along the uh, power lines. Yeah, I heard about that. And we there was some lady trying to sell us anti chaos potions and stuff. I mean, I'm not worried about chaos. I've been around a lot of it, and. uh... Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I kind of work with it every day. <laughs> well, besides that, it uh, seems like uh, just random supervillain attacks have been getting a little more frequent and a little more dangerous lately. Oh, jeez. So, I, so I wouldn't say there was a sharp spike around any particular point, just a trend we've been noticing. I still wonder how this place ended up like it is. I don't remember it being like... I don't remember this being like this before, but I guess all well, my memory's not there, but... Still! Huh. Well, if their supervillain attack's gonna cause problems... I'll just kick their butt. And... Well, you already know about uh, what Spallone is up to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Strasburg. Strasburg. He was Man, always such a... a spoiled brat. Even before. He's not going to be too happy to learn I'm still around, I guess, if he doesn't know already. <laughs> oh, you have a history with him? Yeah, before the world ended. He was part of the reason the world ended. <laughs> He was, like, inserting himself to be my rival constantly before. And got mad about losing, so caused stuff. He was always a spoiled brat. Oh, you mean he... the... You mean with the Pokemon game? Yeah. Well, uh, I've heard from uh, I've heard from our guild branches that uh, at least he's a. Uh, I mean, he is a competent he is a competent ruler. Uh, he does try to make everything about himself, though. I hear. Sounds like an overlord type. That's one way to put it. Eh. Yeah. Sounds like he doesn't start wars. That's my concern. If he's. My goal is to make sure the world doesn't end again and protect and take care of it, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'd probably take a lot more jobs now. I, I, I went through a lot of stuff before, so, uh... Of course, uh, my big concern is still that thing, the uh, drive, because uh, that like the reactor thing, if it's drawing on like the the great unknown stuff. Bastion. Yeah. Uh. Want to get lunch? Uh, sure. Actually, I, I guess it's a little early for lunch, but uh... brunch. Sure. <laughs> Eleven if Z's. If it's too late for br for <laughs> breakfast and too early for lunch, it's just called brunch. <laughs> or second breakfast. <laughs> second breakfast. That was oh, that's a Hobbit thing. Yes. 
Hobbit? <laughs> wouldn't want to be a Hobbit. Having some Hobbit friends would be kind of cool. <laughs> you don't re you don't remember uh, your world having halflings, but uh, you do know there are a lot of runes that uh, live that kind of lifestyle. A lot of what? Runes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, hey, if the halfling, if the halflings <laughs> are ruse, then that's still cool. <laughs> and the gnomes are moogles. <laughs> oh, jeez. Whoops. And I am stepping on my keyboard again. And the elves are elves, aren't they still elves? <laughs> <laughs> um, probably not anymore. Who knows what they are now? I don't know. You think I put that much effort into this world building? <laughs> I wouldn't uh, say right. a, a Dukers probably wouldn't work for them. Like, cat, uh, cats or cat, canine thing. I don't know. It's hard to say. Probably a lot of animal folk if anything fits their... Well, and honestly, elves probably fit a bunch of different animal type bay folk. <laughs> There's deer. just so many they're, different... Maybe they're deer. Some of the... There are so many different species of elves, it wouldn't surprise me that there's a whole bunch of animal... Fey animal folk like that. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, oh, no. uh... Dark elves, the mole people? <laughs> what? <laughs> the dark elves, the mole people. Ah, uh, the, the guy who, the dark, who had that tank. The dark elves live in the rooted empire. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see. That's probably enough of this particular Xenoblade. Alrighty! Let's go for brunch. Let's go for... I need a change of music again. Okay. <laughs> probably ought to prepare my playlists a little bit more than I do. I have no idea what jobs Bastion could even take, but I'm... Going to assume he can probably take a pretty wide selection considering what he's been through. Yeah. There's a job board for that. Yeah, there is. You, you uh, it's based on rank though. Like they split up by rank. Oh. I don't know what my rank is offhand, but I just take whatever. I was involved in a really big thing with the guild back home where the uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Really? It, 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 yeah, that that that, that was Mister with, with Mister Garen in, in the Dean. I guess people call him Valos, but whatever. <laughs> Let's just um... here. Completely unfitting for what we're gonna talk about at lunch, but that's the first thing that popped into my head. Now is not socially go. Now is not the chance to be a big shot right now. <laughs> lucky. No, lucky. I said social link go. <laughs> and the steak is good. Rank up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he hit the oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Knuckles, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Lubba 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 lubba. Alrighty. Brunch. All right. Well, uh, Rollo takes you out to a uh, yeah, pretty good diner. It's uh, a lot like the diners you remember uh, Dad taking to you two in Unova. Hey, these are kind of familiar. A little bit. Hmm. This place is a little Unova inspired. It makes me wonder who made this place. <clears throat> Oh, that would be uh, that would be a guy named Stanley. Stanley made the city. Yeah, he's like uh, this region's. I guess you'd call it an author, kind of. An author, huh? Uh, that's kind of weird. Um, well, maybe it's somebody I should meet at some point then. Yeah. Um. The guild, uh, the guild doesn't tell just anybody where uh, he and his brother live, but uh, you see his brother around the office sometimes. Oh, well, 
That's fine. Like I said, maybe I should meet him someday. It might be kind of important to do so. Huh. Stanley, I'll remember that. Don't know who or what he is, but uh, sounds important. <laughs> Oh, All that's right. from the that's from the no, that's Persona Three. That's right, it has the weird rap thing. Yes, going this on is Persona there. Three. I, I thought it was like like a, a rhythm heaven thing being mixed in with it or something weird. No. <laughs> this is literally how it is in the game. And we have a Persona Three remake coming out in a couple years. So. Uh. Really? A remake? Not just yeah. a P3 portable? Nope, a complete remake, supposedly. Wow. That's uh, interesting. Hey, maybe they'll actually make it fun to play through the frickin' dungeon! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, good question. I've never oh, beaten Persona 3 because that stupid dungeon that's so boring. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, Anoth, uh, have, you haven't played any, like, Mystery Dungeon games, have you? Uh, no, I don't think so. Alright, well, uh, in Persona 3, there's, like, only one major dungeon. Uh, it's called Tartarus, and it extends upward, like, 200-something floors, I think, right? I don't remember... Yeah, I mean, that sounds about right. Like, every couple of floors, there's a boss, but, uh... Yeah, that's, like, the only dungeon in the entire game. The rest, uh, like... All the important plot stuff happens outside the dungeon. There's, like, timed events, uh... You get thrown into a boss fight once a month, and you, uh, you better be ready for it, otherwise you just don't get anywhere. It's but, definitely uh, a thing. <laughs> yeah, I I like Persona Five a lot better. Yeah, four and five are good. Three four is okay. Three. Four is okay, but four's dungeons are also randomly generated and they're a little boring. At least they have different themes and stuff. Yeah, and Golden uh, so is actually fun compared to the original. <laughs> Mystery dungeon just means procedurally generated. Yeah, uh, I mean, Mystery Dungeon is like an entire series of roguelikes by Chunsoft. Yeah, they're all procedurally dun uh, generated dungeons, so every time you go in, it's a mystery what you'll run into and stuff. Yeah, so. the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games are probably the most popular out of all of them. Yeah, they're good. But there was also, another one I wanted to play, but there's I also it. There's also Chocobo's Dungeon... Uh, Which Shingen is, the Wanderer. Uh, yeah, uh, Shiren the Wanderer. He, that's on Steam now. I haven't played it, but it's on Steam. There's a bunch in Japan that we don't have here. Uh, There's even some, Dragon Quest ones. Yeah, I was about to say. Alright. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, Rolo and Megan uh, both being grass-type Pokemon, they just uh, completely load down on the uh, sugary stuff and fruits and stuff. Bastion is definitely more pancakes. about the meat. <laughs> These pancakes I mean, are so good. Well, I mean, Bastion doesn't really care about what he eats, but the uh, meat... I'm going to guess with the dragon stuff, he's more inclined towards meat. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what dragons prefer to eat in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is, I mean, meat is the obvious thing. And that's what tigers like too, so he's probably got a lot of sausage and bacon and stuff. And of course pancakes because you eat the pancakes. Of course you would love pancakes. Some of his siblings some of his family are freaking right too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright. On the upside, syrup is easier to clean off scales. <laughs> I've never gotten anything with scales and syrup. I have had cats tromp through my pancakes and get syrup in their fur though before. Yeah. 
How rude. Yeah, you pretty much have to cut it out. <laughs> Righty. Nom 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 nom. All right, so here's the deal, Bastion. Uh, yeah. That, that wolf I was talking to is a is actually a member of Tsunami. Have you heard of them? Yeah. Um, we ran into a, that's where we dealt with the drill guy. It's that a tsunami protest thing. Uh, and right. then like the, the, the like chocobo person and the other one and the Nanaki were there. Right. Uh, Eric and Claudia. Yep. Uh, yeah, Eric is the leader, and he is planning to uh, he's planning to break into the power plant tonight to uh, investigate what exact what exactly it's doing. Um, hold on, I can't hear a word you're saying because it's poor. I don't know if you can even hear that. that yeah, I hear that. Hurricane rain. Okay, calm down, please, so I can hear things. <laughs> no, it got worse! <laughs> oh, my God, are wrong! Oh, no, hold on. I think he was trying to run inside. Uh-oh. Okay, well, while we wait right, for the you rain... Okay? You can come in if you want. No? Oh, my God. There's okay. There's another stray cat outside that is soaked to the bone and having a fit. <laughs> oh, no. poor kitties. Okay, well, while we're waiting for the rain, I'm gonna go engage biology. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that is super loud. It's probably it's just a rain band, so it should be gone in like a little bit. It's gonna make Wednesday when I or tomorrow when I try to stream a piece of oh. Oh yeah, it'll be gone in, in no time. Huh, it doesn't even show it over the house. Tropical storm conditions tonight? What? That's not supposed to be tonight. Whoa. Yep, tropical storm conditions tonight. It, things must have changed. Huh. Most all of it has it going south of here. I'll go to the meteorologist place I have that has up to the date info. Fifty mile an hour wind gusts, okay. <laughs> oh no, a lot of them have it going right over me, around me now. That's not good.
All right, I'm back. How's the how's the weather? It's it calm me a little. Okay. Okay. So anyway, uh, yeah, Rollo says that Eric is planning to take a is planning to rendezvous with the other members of Tsunami tonight and uh, sneak into the power plant and research what exactly it's doing and how it works. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's gonna... It's probably a lot of chaos in there, but, uh... Are they gonna be okay? <laughs> it's definitely important to figure out what that's doing, because I am not happy if it's trying to drain the great unknown. That's like most of the world that's not... that's still out there. That's why I decided to actually get involved. Uh, and we, need some sure we need somebody to be on mission control, and I thought uh, Megan would be good for the job. Don't know ah. about actually bringing her to the power plant, but... I can fight! Yeah, but you're like... You're like 12, and... I don't know, I don't feel comfortable putting a kid in danger, okay? <laughs> then why did we invite Bastion? Hey, you're the one who you're the one who said Bastion used to be an adult. Yeah, I used to be. That's a little different from your that's a little different from your situation, okay? Fine. I've already dealt with multiple world-ending things. <laughs> I've been part of some pretty big stuff. There's the big fight at the end of the, our world. There was the stuff up north just a little bit ago. There was stopping the war a little bit ago. There was uh, the whole thing with uh, the whole thing with Valos stopping big evil stuff and like big universe thing. I was there for that. And, there's the giant evil eagle trying to eat chocobos, and... Yeah, see? With experience like that, this won't be a problem. Be concerned, as long as they don't try to blow the place up or something, or... Hmm. Gotta be, make sure nothing goes wrong. Don't need a big chaos explosion. Well, uh, that wolf we were talking to, uh, his name's Russ, and uh, he's actually letting us use... Uh, we're going to be meeting up at his house. Uh, it's like a mile... It's like... Yeah, it's like a mile west of the power plant. Oh, jeez. Well, yeah, then I'd hope you wouldn't want to blow it up if he's that close. All right. Getting to the bottom of this weird reactor is definitely something I want to check out. I don't... Uh, I don't know what, um, it's a job. Uh, Dragon Mirror, I don't know... You want to go too? Um, Probably good to see what the local politics is. Knowing what the chaos is turning into here, might be good to know. All right, we'll meet up at five then. Sound good? All right. I hope every other people have dealt with chaos too, because. I would offer advice on how to deal with it, but it's chaos, so there's not really much advice to give. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I, I'll try to help anyone that gets hit by it, as long as it doesn't cause weird... As long as it doesn't cause something, something to happen like it did before, but... Eh. That's what I got these for, this broad of tentacle. <laughs> oh, nice. Yep. That should definitely help. Like I said, I deal with chaos every day. <laughs> chaos.
chaos is coming from inside! Ah. Hopefully, uh, once we actually know what we're up against, we can, uh, maybe try to come up with an alternative. Yeah, definitely. Something that's not, that wouldn't be draining stuff. It's still really suspicious that, like, the Sepeth would be, like, drained already. But I guess that's some Probably stuff we can try to find out, too. How's your, how's your equipment? Do you think you got what you need? I should have everything I need. I'm like Dra uh, Dragon, are you ready for this kind of stuff too? Yeah, yeah. Ready to sneak into any place. I need sneaking into. Right. A lot of my equipment is in forms. I don't have a whole bunch yet, but I do have stuff. And I got my weapon with me always, so... And... The, and the legendary weapon of... Ooh, banana! <laughs> well, it's probably not legendary, but... Yeah, I... I it's, it's a weapon I made. It's oh, a... You're, a, you're a blacksmith? I, I'm learning it, yep. Cool. You can't stop, like, figure out how to, like, enchant stuff for, like, the ether gems and stuff or whatever, but, yeah, anything for that. Just a giant golden banana that can smack on somebody. Huh. And my Keyblade, of course, that's... Oh, Keyblade Wheeler, very nice. Yep, and that, I didn't buy one of the cheap knockoff ones. It's a real one. <laughs> what do you mean, cheap knockoff ones? There are knockoff ones being sold at the weapons shop. Might connect to the heart, but they're not like... They're just like mass-produced keyblades instead of like... Straight up from the heart stuff. Huh. Well, this is my weapon. And he takes out a strange looking gun that, uh. that appears to have some solar panels and a, and a lamp and a big lens. Oh, that's pretty impressive. <clears throat> so, um. yeah, you know, <laughs> different kind of light. Oh, I'll it's, uh, Yeah. It's been uh, pretty good for what I need. Hmm. And that he's an airbender. Work. Yeah, and I'm an airbender. Oh, nice. Could probably help the light stuff. I learned a little bit of air stuff from my dad. I don't know if it's bending or not, but... <laughs> I'm... I have got a bunch of elemental stuff in here that I'm still learning to use, but the uh, yeah, the air stuff was stuff I was trying to learn to be more dodgy, and, and I don't know, my dad was teaching me it. You wouldn't think a big white tiger dude would be great at like dodging, spinning around with the wind, but hey. <laughs> yeah, I can't really see it. <laughs> Well, that's Kaihu for you. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Well, after dinner, it, er, dinner, after brunch, it's like ten thirty. You've got quite a while before you have to meet up. 
What yeah, I was going to say, do? if it's between lunch and if the job's before dinner, then we'd have to have winner. Yeah. Um, well, that's it. No, well, depends. Does Dragomir want to do something? Well, I was thinking that maybe I could check out uh, the library to see if there any chemistry books in there. Oh, that's right. Bastion had to go find that. Wait, no, he did find the smith. Yeah, didn't he? No. Yeah, he had to talk to the smith. Yeah, that's something we could do, I guess, maybe. We also, might make sense to go looking through the the guild boards. You can get a lot of useful information that way. Like, figuring out what happened to Kazuki might, maybe you might learn something from the guild boards. <clears throat> or really anything. Never know what you'll find. Alright. Okay, uh, do we want to split up to do that, or just... Uh... I mean, if it's going to take time, I mean, if it's, if it's fine, it might be better to split up and meet at the guild, I don't know. Depends on what you want to do. Um, guys, uh, why don't you why don't you just stop by the library first, and then uh, Dragon and then Dragomir can read his books while Bastion is training. Um, all right. I mean, I don't know if we'll be training or anything, but we're if picking up some new smithing recipes and seeing other styles. Because I mean. I think, yeah, like, ma figuring out how to make, like, the ether gems and I don't know what, what else is here. The materia, any the chats, and that kind of stuff for the smithing stuff. Yeah, okay, we can do that. We can go to the library first. Works for me! Okay, well, at the, uh... <laughs> Alright, well, uh... What am I saying? Uh... A cat bus comes around uh, sooner or later, and uh, you guys head for the library, and then it's off to uh, then it's off to Alvin Shiranui's workshop. All right. I wonder if the cat bus would mind if I poke them. Mrs. Catbus, do you mind if I get some data? Huh? Data? Yeah. Yeah, it's just uh, some data from it. It's, uh... Data on it's like... what? Oh, it's uh, I got Velger and stuff. Ah. I even know what that is. <laughs> what, you trying to you trying to compete with us or something? Huh? No. There's nothing competing about it. It's just uh, I'm I'm naturally a cat. I'm naturally a tiger. It's just some kind of it's just some kind of stuff that could be fun. And I don't know. It's just nope. Stuff. Permission denied. Wow. Okay. Cat buses must run a tight, uh, tight union there. They all seem kind of rude. <laughs> <clears throat> Yo, know, look, if we let every, if we let everybody uh, turn into a cat bus, there wouldn't be any business left for us. There's, how many other Valgrins are around here? I've never even seen any. Do you? This is my world. And no, I don't. I don't live here, but I'm like I'm like part of the guild, and I'm gonna be staying here for a bit. Yeah, you you run these streets long enough, uh, you run into all kinds of people. Okay. 
Anyway, here's your stop. Alright. Well, Bash will have to find a different cat bus that will be willing to let him take the data. He's not like Pip, who's just gonna yoink, so... <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. I wonder if all the cat buses are just that cranky. I wonder why they are cranky. Is it because they have to be transportation all the time? It's so weird. I guess it's something to find out. Driving in in these traffic conditions can't be good for one's one's um. Uh, yeah, vanity. I guess. No, it's just we always gotta we always gotta worry about the tune taxis trying to drive onto our turf and steal our customers. I mean, it's bad enough I'm with not, them. I'm not trying to steal anybody's customers or anything. My gosh, it's just a neat thing. Like I got little siblings back home. I can like take around. And back home was a ways away. None of you guys are there. There's no competition. Sheesh. What I'm gonna, I guess I'll have to go. I guess I'll have to ask the taxis for the data then. So eating gasoline all the time sounds kind of neat, yeah, but oh well. I guess you guys don't want. If you don't want to give it, I'll ask a taxi thing. We're gonna get that. <sighs> okay, fine. Just don't tell anybody where you got it. That's fine. I won't. All right, let's just talk to the day. He'll be gentle because. It's a fellow cat. <laughs> Actually, Bastion's a cat, too. He knows the best place to poke where it feels good for kitties. <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Well, uh, yeah, Cat Bus's expression definitely changes. Uh, you know uh, you know where the kitty stuff is. All right, so uh, you can turn into a Cat Bus now. Pretty cool. Yay! <laughs> uh, as a player, I'm not sure why, but as a that's a Bastion. That's the character he would definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Bastion was definitely right, going to yeah, yeah. both the taxi and the cat bus just because. Bastion has unlocked fast travel. <laughs> and hey, because he has he has cat fu kung fu, who gets stuck in traffic when you could just get, hop from car to car. <laughs> Or even better, you combine it with Spider Cat and get Spider Cat Bus and just climb the walls. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well. Uh, you end up uh, you end up riding the bus into a uh, more affluent part of town. Uh, wouldn't know how you would really uh, describe the place where Alvin lives. It's uh, well, I guess a uh, yeah, big. Eastern style house, I guess. Uh, it's like Fey Manor from the uh, from the Ace Attorney games, maybe. Uh, like the house Skyper built in Star Battle. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. You see, uh, you see a lot of smoke rising from uh, one of the buildings in this complex here. Which is probably the workshop. That's a lot of smoke. Uh, what are these? You see a, you see a, a rubber griffin guarding the gate. 
this is the library here? <laughs> no, not the library. You already went to the library. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh, this is to the uh, workshop? Yeah. Is the griffin animated, or is it just a static griffin? Uh, no, it's de he's definitely alive. Oh, wow, cool. It's... Yep, uh... <coughs> hmm? One of the few other griffins I've ever met. Hmm. Well, uh, he definitely he definitely sees you in Dragomir as coming up. Is this the right place? Is the workshop for the Smith person? Hmm. Yep, this is Alvin. Yep, this is Alvin Shiranui's uh, place of residence and workshop. Do you have an appointment with him? Is he also a doctor? Well, I guess if there's mecha things around, the Smith would be kind of like the mecha doctor. Uh, it's supposed to be appointments for this? I was pointed this way to come ask him about, like, I'm learning smithing and stuff, and ask him about stuff. And, like, meat recipes and other things and all that. Hmm. All right, hold on a minute. All right. Uh, he, ta he takes out a, takes out a cell phone. Hey boss, uh, got a kid here to a kid here to see you. Uh, he wants to. What's the? Yeah, no, he wants to learn your recipes. Or... All right, well, uh, he holds out the phone screen for you, and you see a goo wolf. Whoa, whoa, a goo, a goo wolf! I didn't expect this. Whoa, cool. I didn't expect to see a ghoul here, but hey, that's nice. Hey, I'm Bastion! Uh... I just want to listen to the music. I can't talk when I'm <laughs> listening to the music. <laughs> the music I pick is too good! Oh, jeez. <laughs> also, improvising characters is very, very hard when you have to actually talk. Yeah, it can be a little bit. Ugh. <sighs> gonna react to this, I wonder. Oh, man. It's actually kind of cool. I don't get to meet many other Google eat many Googles. My cousin's a Google. Oh, man. Maybe I could be able to make him some neat stuff. It's hard to find Google equipment. Dragon and a sand slayer. Oh, you're the guy's hurt mentioned. Uh, yeah, come on in. Yep. Well, right. uh... Well, uh... You heard him. Uh, come on in. Don't Alrighty. Cause any, don't cause any trouble, though. Huh? How am I going to cause trouble? I'm not gonna cause trouble. Don't worry. I'm an adventurer trying to learn some smithing stuff. And a hero guy, so. Hmm. Oh well, I guess saying that doesn't saying the hero stuff doesn't really help around here when you have all the weird going on. But um, I'm an adventurer from somewhere yeah. else. <laughs> I'm here to learn, not break all the pots in the house. He already has the rupees. <laughs>
Well, we don't have any bombs, but we have rope and lamp oil. I, w I wouldn't recommend keeping the boss waiting. I'm going inside. Yes, we'll go inside while talking. <laughs> Alright, well, uh... <clears throat> oh, wait, yeah. no. Dragon Bear, your alchemy stuff is kind of bomb-like, so we do have bombs, rope, and lamp oil. The griffin eyes Dragon Bear suspiciously. Don't cause what? trouble. What's... Okay. Talking about an alchemist, somebody with like an alchemist guy knowing a smith guy. I'm a guy who knows guys. Don't you use like reactants and like new chemicals and stuff in smithing sometimes? No, oh, no, I'm just a security drone. Security, security drone. Oh, oh all right. Well, let's go meet the let's go meet the boss. <laughs> Oh, huh? Yeah, he had an uh, he had an insignia printed on his body, Eagle Eye Security. It said. Oh, jeez. Are we literally making people to, to guard things? I mean, that happened with bubbles before, I guess. Oh, let's go meet this. Oh, let's go meet Mr. Goo Wolf Boss Guy. Mr. Goo Wolf Boss Guy. Uh, has a key. Uh, appears to have a uh, keyblade frame that he's working on uh, right now, but uh, he answers the door when you knock. You do knock, right? Of course. <laughs> Don't just kick down the door. <laughs> well, uh, I'm glad you actually have some manners. Oh, well, yeah. My parents taught me manners pretty. And, like, just because I'm an adventurer doesn't mean, again, I don't go around breaking everybody's pots and kicking down doors. <laughs> yeah, I wish all adventurers were like that. By yeah. That I, by that, I mean not breaking everything. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I used to, like, a guy I used to know oh, in the adventure with, Adele, like, this the one time we went to the doctor's, and he had all these apples, and Adele just went and kicked all the apples on the floor for some reason. I still don't get it. Yeah, well, uh, he, he's banned from around here now. He is? He's been here before? <laughs> no. Oh. He probably wouldn't do that now. It might have been the weird game stuff. I don't know. No, it's nice to so, meet you in person. <laughs> so, uh, I think you got what it takes to be my apprentice, huh? Well, I don't know, but I'll find out. And I hope so. <laughs> all right, well. <sighs> I've trained hard in weaponry, and I've been trying to get the all well, the smithing stuff I can at the academy, so... Hey! Oh, you with the, uh, you with the Hero Academy? Yep! Well, I'm always uh, happy to train an up-and-coming hero. Yeah, I've been doing the, like, supplemental smithing stuff there, but I don't seem to have a lot of people teaching that. Well, uh, yeah, it's... Gotta, I gotta put together, I gotta put a lesson plan together, but if uh, you want to help me out for the rest of the day, uh, you can see how, see if you know your way around the workshop. Um, uh, the rest of the day is how long? Because I do have a hero job at five. Yeah. So what you're saying is you don't have time to be my apprentice. You're asking the hero guy to give like give up the like the hero stuff at a job where people are in need. It's like uh, it's not that I don't have Look, time to be the apprentice. It's just I have Smith things. Smithing's a big field. If you want to learn it right, you got to take the time. Yeah, and I do intend to do the time. 
He came to meet you before the job. And I'm going to, I will learn the smithing stuff, but if you're trying to train an up and coming hero, if you want to train an up and coming hero, then why would you ask them to give up the hero stuff? That doesn't make sense. I'm not asking you to give it up forever, just for, I don't know, two or three years. Two or three years? What, you think you can just learn what it takes to be a blacksmith overnight? No. But I can't give up hero stuff for two or three years straight. Hmm. I've been learning the stuff. I've been learning stuff. And my, and when the t and like I have lots of downtime too, and I've been learning it. I don't have anything else to split off to leave here to learn it. <laughs> Well, then, I don't think this is going to work out. Really? So it, I'd have to stay here for two or three years and not do anything else just to learn? Again, this isn't something a kid like you can learn overnight. And I'm not expecting to learn it overnight. But you can't just go and expect a hero to go and give up all, all the hero stuff for years. Plus, I have school and stuff, too. Mm. I've already got some smithing stuff. I've been learning a, <laughs> been a bit of it on my own. It's like, here, the, pull out the keyblades, the different keyblades you made, and then the, key, the keyblade chains, and then, of course, the banana. With some of the other stuff he's made, including the weird cat bed. Like I even learned a smith with plushy ore. <laughs> uh... And have you actually used any of these in the fight? I use my Keyblade stuff all the time. Hmm. And I just use the banana. <laughs> Well, let me, get, let me give you some pointers here so uh, your weapons don't fall apart on you in your next fight. Well, the Keyblades shouldn't fall <clears throat> apart. They're re it's a real Keyblade. <laughs> and uh, he, he uh, takes you over to the forge and uh, you spend a couple of hours uh, learning some techniques from him to make more stable weapons. Don't worry. Well, he'll definitely learn what he can from that, even though frustrated he can't apparently can't learn smithing now, so... Uh, you do still learn some things. Uh, in fact, it appears that the uh, Keyblade frames he's making are real Keyblades. They just don't have any power until uh, they bond with somebody's heart. Hmm. Well, that's impressive to be able to make real ones. Come from a long line of Keyblade Smiths. Yeah, that's stuff I really need to learn to work with. Hmm. I've got an important one, and I need to learn how to upgrade it and take care of it really good. Oh yeah, uh, let me see. Let me see that one. The, yeah, the one that just looks like a key. Okay. He takes it and inspects it. Huh. This is this is the kingdom key now, isn't it? Yep. Hmm. Take good care of that, son. I intend to. That's part of why I'm trying to learn this stuff. And me and my dad upgraded it once. I got to figure out how. There's so many things to unlock with it. I've seen others do it. I just got to figure out how to do it. Uh, 
well, if Lord Aslan gave you something as, as important as this, uh, it means he's definitely got something in mind for you to do with it. Just keep that in mind going forward. I know. I've already been through part of something I had to use it for. There's probably a lot of things I gotta use it for, and I intend to end the hate. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna protect the world and other stuff. Alright, well, uh... Sorry to, sorry to hear you can't train with me full-time, but, uh... You seem to be pre doing pretty well for yourself otherwise. Yeah, I still want to learn more of the smithing stuff. And, like, I know, like, the enchant things and all that, because I got lots of magic in here now, and to help other people that help us out, like, help, it makes stuff for Dragomir. And my cousin, who's a goo, a goo wolf, it's so hard for him to find equipment, and it's hard to find somebody who knows how to make that. Yeah, well, uh... Tell me well, if, you're worried, if you're worried about me not being able to do... Well, I can't do, like, goo goo specifically, but I do have this, so I'll just go light goo. <laughs> I don't huh. know if it's close enough. Yeah, well, it's no goo wolf, but, uh... That's pretty neat. Yeah, I don't have any of that. I've had it in a little bit before, thanks to, like... Oh, yeah, I don't know if that's correct on the timeline right now or not, with the weird goo ruffle stuff, but... The do goo Charizard. Yeah, it's a different type of goo. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. If you're the other thing with the smithing stuff is I can do this. Yeah, he'll go goo Charizard. I can make my own fl hot flame for stuff. <laughs> now, there's an ability that comes in handy. Yep. And because of the Valgrin, I can get data from stuff. So maybe I can figure out data from other weapons and things. Well, uh, like I said, if you want to learn everything, that's a long process. But uh, if you want to come by and uh, bounce your th bounce your ideas and recipes off me, uh, you know, my door's open. All right. Yeah, I want to keep learning stuff, and like I know, I'm not expecting to learn it all like super fast or anything like that. I know becoming a master takes a while because I, heck, I'm always training with the Keyblade stuff. And all my other weapon stuff, and the cat foo, and even this new dragon stuff. I don't expect to learn it right away. I mean, I used to be an adult before the world ended, and I didn't. I was the master of stuff then either. So I'm not dumb and thinking I'm gonna be able to learn it all right away. But I can't give up hero stuff. Yeah, just I, to... <laughs> I blame old man Herc. Uh, he said you were looking to be my apprentice. It's a word that means something. Yeah, well, I mean, heck, the Academy has, I mean, the Academy has, like, crafting apprentices that take classes that are just, like, an hour or a few long every, like, five days. But then when you get into, like, the master stuff, you get, like, a, you probably have to go to, like, college or, like, super, like, master apprentice stuff and all that. Just give me some, like, <clears throat> give me some lesson stuff and stuff I can study on my own. I'll show you. I can learn. I can learn it as fast as I do some hero stuff. I'm looking forward to it. Meanwhile, Dragomir is. Uh... Well, uh, you found a, a pretty big catalog of, uh, mis of miscellaneous potion recipes. Uh... Of course, uh, there are a lot of recipes that are like trade secrets or some such, but uh, you find a uh, you find a couple of recipes for you know just basic useful potions to have around. Got you, you got your explosives. You got your buffs and debuffs. Got glue solvent of all things. 
Ah, there you go. That's that's the one. Gotta lock those doors nice and tight with the glue solvent. No, glue solvent dissolves goo. Right, sorry. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that is... If you if you want to make glue, that's a different recipe. <laughs> It's about three o'clock now. It was a very productive training session. Already? Ash will get whatever lessons he can take and keep up on them. It's not like he has anything extra he could split off, or you know, he doesn't know if he could even split something there to stay with the guy to train that way. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, he would try to get his academy self to be able to come over and trick and take smithing classes there. Hmm. I don't know if that would work, but that would be kind of... I mean, there's weird time and stuff going on there, but it's not like that doesn't happen. You can make yourself a, another another uh, another double. You can have as many doubles as, as me. That might be, uh, well, I Actually, guess it's, you know, it's the Hydra stuff. That's one way to... Use the multiple heads, I guess. Yeah, it's entirely possible Alvin's brother is, is a smith at, at the academy. Is a smithing instructor at the academy. Hmm. I just didn't think of that until now. Bastion's never been in the smithing class. He's just been smithing from what Baihu and others have taught him. Jeez. Well, uh... Oh! <clears throat> If you uh, find yourself heading back to the academy, uh, you should check in with my brother Theo. He's a uh, he's a smithing instructor there. Uh, he'll be closer than I am. Well, I am at the academy right now too. Uh, it's part of the Hydra too. stuff, maybe. I don't know. Uh, yes, uh, because of the stuff. weird light goo stuff, I flip myself in two in case something happens here. And so I can keep going to school while I'm making sure this world doesn't get destroyed again. Well, there's a neat idea. I, mean, I tried splitting my head in two once. Uh, it just gave me a headache. Yeah, if I could split myself again, or if I had another form to leave, I would leave that here to train with you. But I don't have a spare one right now, so... But I oh. bet maybe, maybe Academy me can pop over here to train with you. Because that's like full-time school <laughs> stuff there. <laughs> Yeah, I don't mind. Uh, it's nice having someone so enthusiastic to talk to. I tell you, uh, when you build up a when you build up a brand name, you get all kinds of weirdos snooping around. Oh, yeah, I bet. Yeah. That's why I uh, up and hired a security drone. How do you, uh, how uh, do they make those things anyway? Plastic yeah. griffins. Heck if I know. Yeah, I don't think they're plastic. I think they're rubber. At least they, they're shiny like rubber. As long as they're not turning people into <laughs> Oh no, uh, you, yeah, it's just a suit you put on. Oh! Oh, okay. That's that's definitely something, I guess. <laughs> I've seen stuff like those. <sighs> Alright, thanks for the lessons. Uh, it, I'll stop by from here, and probably other me will stop by too, outside of just your brother, so uh, I'll be here yeah. learning. See you around. I'm learning, like, I'm learning super Keyblade stuff, like, Keyblade stuff, and not just Keyblade, like, Sword and, like, Sword Master stuff, so... If I can do that, and I keep up on that, you can trust me to keep up on the Smith and stuff. Well, uh, good luck, kid. May your heart be your guide and key. Thanks. And I, I'll make sure this world doesn't get eaten by darkness again. Mm. And this time without uh, 
doing the stuff that I had to before. <laughs> Yeesh. Alright, what will you do now? Still have some time left, huh? Yeah, I mean, you got like two hours. What do you want to do, Dragomir? Hmm. Oh, maybe... Perhaps hydrate. <laughs> I do need to refill my drink, that's true. <laughs> Let's do that, then. Uh, okay, take a drink to bio break here. Look out. Lucky! All right, yes, here, let me do that. Uh, which means there will be ads just because Twitch makes me do ads and I want to cut off the pre-roll. So I'll be, it, it, they're only gonna be a minute, it's it dumb, but I will be right back. Thankfully I am not a partner, so I can talk that, I can talk crap about the ads if I want to. <laughs> Did we eat lunch? Uh, you had brunch. What do you need lunch for? Right. <laughs> but you probably should eat something anyway. So... Heroes can't hero on an empty stomach or something. I have returned. Yo. There we go. <laughs> there was a thought to be able to split another part off, and that would, if it was even possible to get the Goo Wolf data and learn Goo Smithing by leaving a Goo <laughs> <laughs> over with the guy. All right, well, Dragomir brought up the very excellent point that you guys should probably get something to eat before the mission. It's time for Linner. <laughs> so um yeah you do that and then uh, it's uh, 
And uh, t- at some point, Rolo realizes he forgot to give you the uh, location of Russ's house, so uh, he sends you yeah. that. I need your like cell phone number and stuff too, if you even got one of those. Rolo does have one, and you get his phone number. All right, perfect. Otherwise, I'd have to give you like a piece of chemical to contact that way. It's like hip phone style. <laughs> Anything else? Do we have uh, an actual uh, cell phone that's connectable to these? I mean, we have that one from the underground, but I don't think that's that's on the same it's it's Bastion cell has system. Bastion has had one, but I don't know if Dragonbeer has one. Maybe he got it. I don't know. They sell them at the Academy, probably. <laughs> we need an Arcus unit. Or a Ramda. Or a Gudra. Wait, no. That's not the right. We already have that kind of. <laughs> actually, come to think of it, tentacle connections could probably do that. <laughs> Wait, Dragomir, you don't have a cell phone? It's not like Sassin Fress has a particularly high technology level. I mean, at this point, Bastion has probably got the cell phone in his tentacles. But, uh, mm-hmm. uh, give me a sec. Bastion's going to try to make turn some tentacle matter into an extra cell phone <laughs> for Dragomir. Although, then again, I don't know how it works outside of... Oh, no, it's the tentacle network. I don't know if it works calling other numbers, but you could probably call my cell phone. It's a, vi- it's a very odd and uh, it's a very bastiony sort of cell phone. Squishy, probably. I don't think it's <laughs> dropping it and breaking it. <laughs> I don't know how yeah, well it works. It might work fine, but uh, hey, it, it can contact me and be you. It, can, con- it can contact Bastion. <laughs> Uh, that has advantages, I suppose. We just need a yeah. Just well, while we're eating, we can stop by a cell place, and you can put a SIM card in it, and then you have your own cell phone. Yeah, or something. <laughs> yes, but what you are forgetting is that you gotta sign up for the whole cell service deal, and it costs like a hundred, like ten gold pieces a month, or. Just all, the, cool all pieces the cra- of that's ridiculous. All the craziness that comes with the that comes with cell how service. Does, how does Bastions work then? Does it is it just an academy line or like a guild line or is it just the because Bastion is doing the weird botanical stuff and just picking up on cell phone signals through tentacle power? <laughs> yeah, it's just through tentacle power. All right. Well, I guess he'll try to set up Dragomir's phone to use the tentacle network. <laughs> it has it has his own own uh, wireless carrier or something. And Verizon lost a customer that day. You can probably actually connect to the cell phone itself if you like concentrate and just the, the tentacles can connect up. So it's hard to drop it. Might feel a little weird, but hey. <laughs> It's in a big chaos area, though. You might end up like. It's like this one time I heard Penny. She was trying to start up her stream, and like all her OBS soundboard exploded at once. So. <laughs> this this cell phone might suddenly get me uh, calls from other dimensions or something. I don't know if that would happen. That's never happened. Hi. Really what was that? That was my dad <laughs> coming home. And he said, hello, and nobody oh. heard him but me. Oh, I thought you were trying to be Pip. It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would be totally in character for Pip to just call you out of nowhere. Probably. Yeah, the dragon gets to call. Hi! Is your refrigerator running? You better go catch it! <laughs> just hang up. <laughs> 
<laughs> All righty. Let us go. After we eat, Bastion will get some snacks and drinks and keep them in the refrigerator pouch thing. <laughs> it's time for stuff. It's time for stuff. You catch a... Uh... You catch a cat bus ride to uh, the edge of town. Uh, it doesn't seem like any of the buses run out to like the farming areas. But that's not going to stop you. You can turn yourself into a cat bus now. It, we were going to what? What's the some of the car? The taxi area, as you said, or no? Uh, oh. You take a cat bus to the north edge of town. Oh. And at least, go, as, far, at least as far north as they will go. You'll have to walk the rest of the way. We'd have to walk our cat bus. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll have to wait for the cat bus to be gone before a cat bus. I don't know if Dragomir can fit inside Bastion at the moment. I don't know how big the yes. cat bus is. That. <laughs> I mean, with tentacle power, there's probably a way he'll be able to fit. But if he mixes it with the Displacer Tiger, since it was already large. <laughs> yeah, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. And this is a super Displacer weird. Or... Cat bus. This is super weird, but if you want, I can give you, we can I can give you a ride over there. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's gotta be the most chaotic thing is a Displaced bus. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you don't oh. cause any accidents. <laughs> <laughs> he would turn off the displacement. A displacer cat bus is a recipe for so many accidents. <laughs> Stay in your lane. <laughs> but which lane are they really in? <laughs> All right, it's uh, like a ten, it's like a ten miles to to, the, to uh, where Russ is. Your route goes along the <clears throat> your route goes along the uh, along the orbital cables connecting to the power plant, and I need to pull up my notes here. All right, I guess we're doing the cat bus thing. <laughs> yeah. It's either that, or it's got to be the the you know flying and carrying. Yeah, there is there is quite a bit of energy passing through those cables. Uh, it's, Making your tentacles stand on end. What the heck? That's a lot of stuff in there. I can even hear it. It's coming through the microphone. <laughs> it's like cell or uh, keyboard noises coming through. <laughs> Whatever people watching, don't mind if I'm acting weird. There's a hurricane coming in, so it's messing with my back and it's making me weird. I, <laughs> so. I can't. Don't think I really can do anything about the interference. It's, it's not very loud right now, so. I can just hear it barely. I mean, if we're going to a chaos freaking reactor, it fits, I guess. <laughs> chaos Morse code. Chaos, chaos. <laughs> yeah. Uh, see a you see a couple of mutant cows over there. I can't tell if this is though they are mutants because of the chaos, or that's how they know they are. They have three legs or something? Uh, one of them has five. Is this yeah. Fallout? <laughs> That'll do it. My tentacles are reacting, so that sure is stuff flying through there. Last time there was that much energy, I turned into a dragon from it. <laughs> Actually, that was probably more energy, maybe. Sheesh. Let's see. Can you not whack the keyboard, cat? Can you stop the stream, <gasps> Lucas? Yeah, here, cat came. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. I hear a microwave. Oh no. That sounded like it was from it was somebody's end. I hear beep, 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 beep. Bastion has not absorbed the microwave yet. <laughs> he needs to so he can come 
combine it with this refrigerator. And an orbital stove, yes. <laughs> an air fry. He can already do the air fry with the Charizard. Actually, he could probably use the Charizard data to freak an oven in there. See, what he needs to do is absorb like an Orville Smithy in an ether furnace, and then he can smith inside his pouch. You just stick a whole bunch of like iron ore and, and like bars inside the pouch, and all of a sudden, you pull out swords. Like, what are you doing? Boom, swords! <laughs> How many keyblades does this guy have? He keeps <laughs> pulling them out of his pocket. That's something Pip would do. Just absorb a bunch of swords and go like Kirby freaking power up rolling around. Alright, you can't do that. Alright! Driving, driving, driving. Alright, well. Will you uh, I don't have a driver's license yet? <laughs> does that matter if you are the bus? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well, um. Looks like, uh. Looks like there's a looks like there's a bit of a disturbance up ahead. Uh, one of the okay. one section of cable up ahead is uh, sparking rather wildly. Uh, what do you want to do about it? Whoa! Uh, uh, that seems concerning. I don't know it's, how in the world do we fix that. <laughs> Can Smithing fix that? I don't know. This this is what the what the soldering is for, or maybe maybe the glue. <laughs> All right. So Bastion wants to rely on his skills and training to uh, go over and fix the cable, huh? I guess if we need, I mean, if it's a danger, or if we need to stop to fix the cable, if we got the time. All right. You know what happened? The <clears throat> roll with focus. Dragon, are you got stuff to help with this? We can both work on it. <laughs> All the focus. Okay. Oh, I need a machine. Where is my dice? There they are. Look out. I gotta make room to roll my dice. Cat percent! Who is speeding down the frickin' road in the middle of a frickin' hurricane? With... That's dumb. Okay, let me open up my thing. Was it focus that I? No, that's Skyper. Focus was no, it was harm me. I leveled up. Okay. It is a total of nine. Okay. Uh, let's see uh, what happens on a nine. I do not know. <laughs> Orbital cables made out of anyway. Unobtainium. I don't know. They're made of. They're like fiber optic cables made of septium. Uh. Oh, jeez. As long as Bastion doesn't absorb the cables, too. <laughs> it's not like he hasn't been exposed to, like, pure freaking energy, orbital energy stuff before, so. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, as you as you fix as you start working on the cables, uh, you realize that uh, you realize that it's about to release a big burst of energy. Uh, you can uh, push yourself harder to patch it up and mark one fatigue, or uh, or see what happens. Well, we're gonna have to teak before a big mission, but at the same time, a big pulse of energy is probably not the best idea for anybody. Is there anybody living around here, or is it just the cows? Uh... And would they be? Would he be able to get out of the area of the pulse before it went off? <laughs> All right, well, I need to look that up too. 
Alright. Probably should have had these uh, books open from the start. Mm, this is how the cow got the fifth leg. I'm not exactly worried about myself taking the Chaos Blast, but I don't know about you and everyone else. <laughs> well, if it's even Chaos, it's more Orbal Energy. The last time I took a huge chunk of Orbal Energy that I absorbed, I turned into a dragon. Well, Anthro Dragon, but... Uh... Last time a, a cable, Orbal Cable had problems, uh, the final boss got uh, beaten. Yeah, that's... Entire, entire mainframe powered down. Yeah, that's basically the same right, incident. Well, uh, <laughs> you might be able to get away, just barely. Oh, jeez. But it might actually tire you out more than uh, just uh, trying to fix it right now. Alright, well, we'll have to take the fatigue to try to fix it right now. Bash was not as concerned about himself with whatever the Chaos Orbital Energy is, considering the last time, but don't leave Dragomir or others getting... Alright, well, you're able, to use, you're able to use your tentacles to redirect the Orbital Energy and to release it. It does make you feel a little tired afterward. Re oh, so, like, One release fatigue. it into the air or something? Or... Yeah. Ah, oh. Woo. Oh, geez. But One, the two, worst two. is averted, and the cable seems stable now. Cable is stable. Alright, so it should be at, what, one or two fatigue right now? Unless we had time to restore fatigue from eating or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so, alright, one fatigue there. Alright! Ah! Well, it's good to know I can redirect the orbital energy, but, uh... Oh! Just because I can, eat, just because I absorb or eat that stuff or did before, doesn't mean it's not. Oh yeah, I mean even people who pig out in an eating contest get tired. How? Yeah. It it was fire type orbital energy, so uh, yeah, you probably didn't want that to uh, go all crazy. No, that's a good thing I got the Charizard data in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Oh, my Charizard form is happy and filled up with energy, I guess. <laughs> and now's Ow. my chance to be a big shot. What? And I'm getting spam. Oh! Oh. I haven't gotten spam in a while, it's not oddly enough. Alright, well, I don't need to have this in front of me anymore. Well, I'll keep it here just in case we need it. Yeah, that would have been really bad. Well, I'm more tired, but I'm pumped up on horrible energy. Horrible <laughs> fire energy, I guess. Let's go! Hey! I got an idea. I might be able to get there faster. Since I just took all that fire energy! Let's go turbo! <laughs> <laughs> Put it out the... Uh... The vents of the, yeah, of the uh, cat, 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 uh, cat bus. <laughs> I don't have the knocky stuff for fire like cat. You know, I mean, cat buses don't exactly have tires, they have legs. So, um, I hope you have a plan. He has dragon wings, he could pull them out to, like, glide oh, zoom over. Yeah, that works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gotta make an entrance for the new allies. The weird entrance stuff. Okay, well, while you're flying to while you're flying toward the uh, while you're flying toward the, the rendezvous point, you also spot what appears to be Lucius uh, uh, behind some cover on the on the side of the road, and uh, he's got a big he's got a big tub of tune paint. Uh, okay. You, you see him jumping in, and then you're out of sight. He jumped into the tub of toon paint? Yeah. What in the world? Oh, 
What is he what doing you... out here? What will um, you do? Will you uh, turn around and take a look at him, or just head for the rendezvous point? Considering what he did last time, if we can still get there to the rendezvous point in time, we should probably check on him if, so he's not going to jump in and do stuff. It's a, a dragon. I think we should check on him considering last time. Should we should keep going. Yeah, I probably should make sure that he's see what he's doing. <sighs> All right. Of course. When you said tune paint, it sound like toothpaste to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's yeah, definitely toothpaste. not toothpaste. Oh, all right, let's go back over. Well, uh, by the time you, uh, by by the time you get yourself turned around and uh, back over to him, he has uh, successfully turned himself into a toon cow. He's a. Uh, he's about to pick up a. He's about to pick up a cart of uh, what looks like cleaning supplies when uh, he sees you coming and uh, dives behind a rock. Maybe we shouldn't have come back. I'm not sure we were. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Some people like weird stuff. Maybe he just likes spending his spare time as a cow. <laughs> how, many, how many legs does he have? Two. Does a cow with two legs? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. What's that guy's name? Otis or something? I have no idea. I don't freaking remember. All I know is that was made by the same guy who made Jimmy Neutron and Kung Pao. Oh, wow. Yes. Uh, that that sure is a way to get around where you're going, I guess. What will he's you do? I, I think he's he's not going to respond. He's just going to stay hiding behind there, isn't he? <laughs> sure looks that way. Well, at least he wasn't in the road, and he moved out of the way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, that was cow, not bull. Um, what? Okay. Do you want to say something to him? I... This is pretty silly. <laughs> Nah, nothing really to say to him. What in the world? Then it's probably time to go. Hold on, Bastion's going to try to use this smithing thing, and he's going to. You, I mean, he's got some stuff. Let's make a cowbell. Just quickly, in the pouch of Charizard stuff, and then reach a tentacle over and drop the cowbell on the over on his head, and then they'll leave. <laughs> well, uh, you can't see his re you can't see his reaction from where you are, but uh, mission accomplished. <laughs> that sure was weird. Okay, onwards to the destination. Passengers do not mind strange people turning themselves into cows. They pay, pay pay no attention to the. The uh, yeah, maybe he's just saying you can't judge a person, maybe they need the money, and it just requires them being a cow. <laughs> was he, was he, what a, kind a, of a, job a, would require you to be a cow? Children's birthday parties, maybe they uh, work yeah, at okay. a, th <laughs> 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 they can work at a theme park. I don't know. Maybe they work on a farm and being a cow calms the other cows down? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
where. Is it oh, I know. Is he was he was spotted. <laughs> That's an utterly ridiculous pun. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. oh well, man, is why is the English language so good for cow puns? It's like, well, well, one thing is, people with money and nobles sure like we pay for weird things. You can't right. judge a person. <laughs> Okay, there you go, have fun, let's go on. <laughs> no idea what his reaction is, but that sure is a uh, weird incident to run into on the road. Alright, well, you arrive at a uh, pretty small farmhouse type place. Uh, there are lots and lots of sheep uh, around. Some of them Pokemon. You got your Mareeps, you got your Wooloos. Oh, oh. That's pretty neat. He wasn't coming here to try to, like, spy on stuff to steal credit again, because he totally picked the wrong species. <laughs> Alright, uh... Yeah. Russ lets you in. Uh, he does not have his horns anymore. Uh, or, the, or his afro. Oh, hi! It's nice to see you and meet you. Oh, uh, the dragon bear, you, you can get off so I can uncap us. <laughs> Works for me. It'd be really awkward if I got you got uncap bust while I was in there. You'd probably end up in my pouch, I guess. <laughs> Maybe, hopefully. All right. Let's, let's let's not guess about that. I'm getting it. Yeah. All right, we'll wait for Dragon off and change back to normal. <laughs> That's a long, dra a long drive run out here. He did not say you were also a Valgrin. Uh, well met. Also a Valgrin? What, are you a Valgrin too? Well, I am now. You are now? Oh, uh... The Chaos stuff or something? Yeah, there's... A yeah, pretty much. Uh, doesn't help that I uh, take my sheep out into the great unknown sometimes. Oh. Hmm. That's pretty weird. It would make somebody a Valgrin like that. Yeah. Huh. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, sometimes I get weird stuff on me. Yeah. If you take in the data and you don't know how to process it right, you can probably make weird stuff. <laughs> I mean, I got the data for the data for the cat bus. That's how I got we got here. So, <laughs> so uh, I don't think we were uh, properly introduced uh, when we met at the guild. The name's Russ. I'm Bastion. Bastion Whitewinds. Uh... And I'm dragging here. Bastion, Bastion Whitewinds Sykes. Bastion Sykes Whitewinds. Whatever you want to say. I have two last names. So. <laughs> It's weird. I, I have two moms and dads because, well, world ending stuff was silly, weird. I am probably not really a stranger to silly, weird at this point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you guys are the first to arrive, still waiting on everyone else. Alright, no, be on the lookout for a weird tune cow, just in case. Tune cow. Uh, Alright, got it. Yeah, there was the weird Cerberus guy who, like, stole credit for, like, being a bad guy. We saw him and he turned himself into a Toon Cow. The heck? Yeah, it was near here. I don't know why. I, I don't ask, but just in case he's trying to come no in for for stuff. taste, I guess. I'm just glad I didn't get that paid on me. <laughs> hmm. What? Yeah. Cat bus stuff is neat. Just uh, don't let the union catch you. <laughs> oh yeah, it, they the cat buses seem grumpy, or at least the one we ran into. They've got a big tur they've got a big turf war going with the tune taxis. Uh, pretty much since the city was founded, really. I kind of figured that. That's why they let me take the data finally after I told them I would just get a taxi stuff yeah. instead. <laughs> yeah, I ought to get some of that. Uh... Make coming makes to the sense. city to sell a little easier. Yeah, it makes sense. I'm probably gonna grab the taxi stuff too, so. 
mix it in together if I need to, or whatever I need, or whatever area of the city. Then again, I don't know how either will react if there's like a cat bus taxi, so... <laughs> Probably won't go over well. But, uh, what do I know? I'm just a shepherd. So, uh, you know, make yourself at home, I guess, while we're waiting. Alright, I can give you some Valgrind advice. It's still kind of odd that it would make somebody a Valgrind, because I thought, I thought the Dean was pretty, uh... I'm probably about that. Why do I smell burning? Uh-oh. Spinach puffs. <laughs> Outside. Hello. Yeah, it's coming from outside. Weird. I was worried, like, the cats had turned the stove on. No, it's just a burning smell coming from outside somewhere. Yeah, alright. Neck. The cats turned someone else's stove on. I think someone's burning the dinner, if anything. All right, well, uh, Eric and Claudia... Okay, well, Claudia comes in uh, not too long after, carrying Eric on her back. <clears throat> uh... Hi again! Oh, hey! Uh... Fancy running into you here. Are you here to help out with the mission? Doing some guild work. <laughs> okay, well, uh, the more help we have, the better. Yeah, I want to figure out what's going on with this anyway, so... <laughs> what are you guys worried about? You got me on your side. Who said that, Claudia? Claudia. <laughs> Uh, what, well, excuse, you well, excuse me for being nervous anyway. It's always good to be, like, thinking of the stuff that could happen. I've been through a bunch of stuff too, and I kind of always, always being on guard. I mean, I've seen a lot of weird stuff. I've been a lot of weird stuff. Uh, if you, like, you don't want to end up a seal or like a snake or something that's really hard to fight with. Or, oh. ha ha or have a weird toon cow guy throw a toon cow paint on you or something. That didn't happen to me, but we saw a guy turn dump that, get into paint like that, so watch out for him. Huh. I think he's a hero, so I don't know what he's doing, but still. It's the same dude that stole the freak- you know like that bad guy that we beat? It's that same wolf dude who jumped up and claimed credit and gave the speech and ran off. Wow. Oh. And, and so he dumped like- he-, he he, he turned himself into a toon cow. I don't know why, so I don't know if he's doing something or what, but just watch out. Maybe he... Hey, Chloe, you think maybe he's got the same idea we do? Claudia just shrugs. He's, you think he's trying to sneak in the look at stuff? Just the feeling I get. I don't know how two and cow helps with that, but whatever. <laughs> I hope... I'm not sure if tunes are the best thing to deal with chaos. They probably... Well, whatever. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, the next two people to arrive are Rolo and Megan. Makes a stu uh, drops Megan. She he drops Megan on the ground and then makes a stylish landing for himself. And then they pose as a team. Huh. 
I guess that kind of thing is normal around here, huh? Hey, looking cool is half the job, right? I guess so. <laughs> I mean, I'm a, I'm a drag. I, I mean, I was a tiger. That was cool. The Lucario was cool. The dragon's cool. I'm all of them, so it's extra cool. Yeah, but you can't be cool just by having a cool form. You gotta really sell it. I'm not gonna Fortnite dance. <laughs> uh, nobody's asking you to do that. Good, good. <laughs> I've seen other kid heroes do that, and it's just, like, cringy. <laughs> Okay, so now that we're all here, uh, let's talk about the plan. I'm not the biggest stealth infiltration guy, but uh, Dragomir probably knows that stuff more than I do. <laughs> Well, luckily for you guys, I have a floor plan. Our plans are good. Yeah. Knowing where you're going is a major plus. Right. So, uh, so here's a deal. And uh, Russ lays out the floor plan for you guys, and... Uh, And, uh, he just proposes a route straight to the reactor. Just straight there, huh? How, how guarded is it usually? Any idea? Uh, the, en the engineer on the inside tells me, uh, they've got 12, uh, 12, no, 11, uh, Eleven of Eagle Eyes drones uh, patrolling. Well, nine patrolling, two uh, guarding the front gate. Oh, jeez. And, uh, uh. Some robot model after Lord Burning, uh. guarding the reactor itself. So, Lord. there probably will be a little bit of fighting. Lord Burning. What is he? What is he exactly? Oh, you haven't met him? You haven't seen him? He's a, uh, he's a robot T-Rex with a flaming skull. <laughs> like, if that doesn't scream supervillain, I don't know what does, but, uh... It screams I mean, somebody's well trying too hard. Super villain. It screams somebody is really trying too hard. Are you sure that's what he actually is? Like, what if you put out the fire? Maybe there's just, like, a little, like, rabbit inside. Or a frog. Yeah, none of us have tried. Huh? So he's got a mecha based on himself guarding the thing. Huh? Right. Some people... Some people make themselves look like toon cows, while others make themselves look like burning T-Rexes. All I know is, uh, T-Rexes have pretty little arms, uh, maybe you should have thought that through a bit better. Yeah, you gotta have, like, the, the cooler kind, like the, uh, like, Glavenous and stuff. Those are, like, they got, like, cool sword kit skills with that. Hmm. Or Indominus Rex. Uh, Tyrantum. Yeah. And then you get, like, what, the earthbending? Huh. Alright, well, okay, so we know the mecha thing. Is there any way we can, like, instead of fighting everything, is there a way to sneak around? I, uh... Is there any cover on the floor, <clears throat> floor plan? Columns? Uh... Long lamps? Uh... Fake trees? Fake trees? Uh, we're talking about indoors here. Yeah, yeah. You, you never seen a 
a rubber tree before? They sh they shake their heads. Cardboard boxes? <laughs> boxes, yes. We yes. got cats on our team, so boxes are a good <laughs> thing too. I was thinking more Metal Gear Solid, not. Yes, I do lay in boxes sometimes, so what? It's comfy. <laughs> you would too if you were a cat. I might become one when the orbital uh, cables go crazy. Maybe. You've been around me a lot. <laughs> Uh, air conditioning units. All right, so, uh... I can use goo stuff myself, yeah. but that doesn't leave everybody else. I can only yeah. take, like, one other person, probably one or maybe two people with me in the goo stuff, depending on their side. Do that with dragon. Oh, well, uh, well, if we have that, then we don't even need to deal with the front guards. We can just uh, go right through the fence. Oh, take you guys in, like, one at a time or something? Rust nods. All right, as long as we don't get spotted, I can try that. Then, uh... He finds a. Then we find a back entrance, and let's see. This is probably a good one. Yeah, and then we take this path. Hmm. Uh, we know the floor plan is accurate, right? This was. This was given to me by one of the engineers who built the power plant. It, I, I would hope it's reliable. Okay. Yeah, Dragomir is probably the guy to turn to for the plans here. He's better at this stuff than I am. By far. I mean, I can sneak because I'm a cat, but I'm not, like, uh, an expert on this stuff. The others look to Dragomir. I would normally recommend not going straight to uh, where you want to go. Usually it makes sense to do some detours, make sure that you can kind of keep track of where everything is, and um, you can really assume that things are exactly where they are. You know, even if guards are normally in one place, they often move other places, so it's usually wise to try and see where they've decided to, to uh, group up. Alright, uh, are you gonna... Alright, so lay the plan on us, Dragomir, and roll... Uh, you have Here's the Plan, right? As one of your moves? No, no, I don't have that. You don't? Oh, okay. I do not have that one. What? What were your moves? Hang on. Do I have them? I have the list here of what I have. I have... Uh, character sheet. Not done yet, and you missed something. Uh, I have a move that, that I, we, we could disguise ourselves. But I don't. So I don't have the appropriate backgrounds, appropriate I don't think. Appropriate to one of your backgrounds, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hmm. 
when you disguise yourself according to one of the backgrounds? Yeah, you have to have the right background and uh, yeah I, I i would say uh, i would say the security force is uh, much closer to a military background oh i was gonna say like mercenaries or something and i don't know if that fell with the anything dragon mirrors done with that i have outlaw and wilderness so it doesn't really line up at all yeah i don't think it would line up mm. do you have anything for distractions I don't know if alchemy works on the because those are the drones are just guys in suits, right? Yeah. Got any alchemy that would work on the suits? You think? Oh, well, there you. I, I could throw. I could use boom to throw a bomb, or I could use jolt. Yeah, they're usually we'll overkill shielded. though. They're usually shielded against the, uh, the against the obvious stuff. So this thing didn't loop properly. There we go. Obvious. Yeah, those drones. Uh, I've actually done some work in those drone suits. They're shielded against the uh, against the most obvious stuff. Uh, they're pretty physically sturdy too. So what, like the common elements or something, or common elements. Uh, uh, debuffs, uh, probably transformations too. Really? Wow, that's kind of. It is definitely pretty uh, strong stuff. Huh. Well, that's why. Uh... <clears throat> yeah, that's what it takes to get the job done, you know? Yeah, but they gotta have some weakness, or else nobody's gonna get around them. I'm thinking, let me think. Claudia starts pacing. I mean, Valgren stuff might be able to uh, corrupt the suit stuff, but... There's only yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Valgren's, uh... They seem to be able to get through a lot. The suits are protected against stuff like fire, but uh, does it prevent the person inside from getting hot? Yeah, yeah, it does. All right. They got they got really good environmental shielding, and uh, it's a good thing too. That sounds really overkill. There's got to be a way to deal with them. Nothing. Nothing's immune to, like, everything. What about light? Like, I don't know about radiant and, like, light damage. Well, they're not immune to anything, it's just uh, they're tough. Right. Uh, how, how's their oxygen flow with those things on? Oh, uh... It's... Good question, actually. Uh, I don't know if you even need oxygen when you're wearing one. What about, like, uh, entangling spider webs? Like, really big spider webs? That would probably do the trick. Maybe. Yeah, it's probably harder to move in those suits, so a, a web would harder to escape, maybe. Hmm. Uh, so, like... Do, do you have any... Do you have anything that would make them, like, Slippery? Because I bet it'd be hard for them to do anything if they're like all lubed up slippery. Dragomir, don't you have a sa don't you have a bag of ball bearings you never used? I do, yes. Uh, 
funny because that's the one item that never has any seems to have any real use that you can find for it. Yeah, that's uh, that's an option. Sometimes, sometimes you just need a guy to slip and fall flat on his butt. They might be able to use a grease spell, but I don't. Wait. I don't think grease spell can target a person, but if it's a suit, can it work on the suit? I mean, if they're protecting against the obvious and, like, stronger attacks, Why don't maybe... you just target the ground? Because if it's on their suit, then they're, they're trying to walk and they're slipping all over the place while they're trying to walk, and when they fall down, oh, it's really hard for them to get back up. <laughs> I like it. So it sounds like they might be built for traditional fighting, but non-traditional stuff they might not be good at. Hmm. Yeah, um... Like, I think they get their behaviors uh, downloaded from some server on the site or something, I don't know. I just know is uh, I just know they all act the same. <laughs> There's a server on the site. Yeah. Where is it? I don't know. Russ, is that on the map? I mean, if it's with the other computers, it would be in the computer. It would be in the control room. Because I got stuff that could probably throw off the controls then if we can get there. If we can get to the computer room without being spotted. Yeah. Well, even if we do get spotted, if uh, some of us go to the computer room while the others hold them off, I could probably like corrupt the instructions and stuff. got a great right. idea how to get them to make it so they won't fight us. Okay. Then once uh, the security force is taken out, we can take out that robot too, I guess. And then we... There shouldn't be anyone stopping us from studying the core. Alright. I would like to avoid, like, setting off all the drones if we can. So I guess the plan is to... If we get... Spotted by the drones to use the non-conventional and then sneak into the computer room and cause mayhem. <laughs> Find the computer room! Don't worry, I got the perfect idea to throw them off. If only, uh, if only Dragomir's crewmate Victor was here. It'd be good for hacking. Ashton combined with his own self and he got the stuff from the actors, so... Hmm. Plus, there is the most silly idea that is uh, going to be a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, I need to engage biology, but then I think it is go time. Alrighty! Biology. I'll refill my water or soda too while you're doing that. Quick. Biology. Bio break and that's well for me since so Twitch makes the dog. The ad break, so don't mind me if uh, I mean if you don't want to <laughs> see ads. If you don't want to see ads, go ahead and uh, add so I guess. <laughs> you don't really have to, but hey, it helps. It actually helps pay for kitties. Like, if you sub and say you want to go to the kitties, then I will buy, like, kitty or puppy toys with that money, basically. Alright, then we'll be right back and leave a kitty cat. Almost brother, your almost brother is outside. I'll 
sitting on the porch. I think he's still out there. Is he? He is not. He's hiding in the car. Poor idiot. We didn't have a bunch of fishing and lures like that in the garage. That's why we were running. Why must there be a hurricane in November? We don't need no hurricane. I don't need no hurricanes. I already dealt with Ian this year. Now I'm dealing with, uh, oh, I don't even know what name it is. Nicole, I think. Nicole! 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 Apparently ShopRite is doing its can can sale or something. Hey Try to get the kitty cam if I see it and set up for now. Oh, kitty cam. No, he is on the porch. All right, I am back again. Okay. Are you back too? I'm here. There we go. All right. Point it. Hammer. Yeah. I see a Milo. Hammer. Ma'am. You've got Igu. Hold on. Come here. Let me get the Igu. No, there's some giant Igubers. All right. I have returned. Okay. And off to here? Yeah, I'm here. Alright. Here he is. Do do. Meowing up a hurricane. Is it your fault, Lucky? You don't like being held. He's a fatty. He loves attention, but he doesn't like being held. Hmm. Which is weird because when I sleep, he climbs on my chest and is all over me. It's like, what's the difference between me holding you and you being on top of me when I'm at, uh, trying to sleep? Oh, you put fur in my mouth, buddy. <laughs> oh no, Sylvia's being an attack spaz. Oh no. Lucky went by and she just went Rah! and grabbed him. <laughs> oh no. Alrighty. Well, I'm ready to go and do a thing. Go. It's Are we time good? to what begin. What is the thing? 
Is it the bombing mission? No, it's a derelict factory. <laughs> like I was gonna go oh, with the okay. obvious one. Alright, so, uh... There might be an extended version of that. Factory theme X death. No, that's not a thing. That exists. <laughs> Wrong game. <laughs> Do no, those, the main those theme. fists extend? Oh wow! There is no extended version of this. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. That is pretty weird. Labo's core, I would hope not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I found one. Whoa, it's like... It, it, off. Oh no. There, it's a theme with a frog. Watch out for the chaos, who's gonna become a frog. <laughs> Bastion's gotta worry about Tenable, who's gonna be the frog. It's usually Cloud that ends I up mean, the frog. Megan, it, <laughs> Megan is kind of a frog. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, true. True. Bulbasaurs are weird. And if Dragomir ends up a cat, what type of cat would he be? A, pa a Black Panther? For the sneaky? Or... I don't know. <laughs> A bobcat? What could possibly go wrong? Mm. And Sylvie bit me when I said that, so I guess that's a <laughs> uh, Taking Taking Sylvie's pigeon into account, <laughs> I guess that's not one of them. I don't know. Whatever Dragomir likes for cats. <laughs> Obvious way to get everybody over to the thing is for Bastion to cat bust them all over. <sighs> all right, cat bust time again. <laughs> Getting some good use out of the form already. Jeez, like I took this for just for the fun of it and to possibly help the like the stuff. But whatever, this works. <laughs> it's useful, and who's complaining? I'm kind of tired from that last from that fight this morning. Oh, you're still tired? Yeah. yeah. Didn't you eat or something? I ate. Oh, okay. What you, th what, you think I just go all day without eating something? No. But being tired is not good going to with the mission here if we can help it. I don't know how long it's going to take to get there, but... Not that long. Uh, my house is only like a mile away. Uh... All right. Sometimes uh, take my sheep through that area. I did before it all became like void north of the power plant. Hmm. I don't have like fire dog data, but uh, I was gonna say I have an excess of fire energy right now. With them, but uh, I don't know. I mean, if you're Valgrind, I could probably pass some of it over to help you not be as tired. <laughs> Although you might no, end no. up like Fire Dog. Oh, who was that? It was Claudia. Oh, Claudia. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's. Hmm. Oh, <gasps> an idea. Okay, Bastion will use his fridge data to pull out like, a, like an opening of like fridge stuff for like an iced coffee out of the seat from Claudia. There you go. <laughs> um. Wow. It's an iced coffee. I got snacks just before, before, just in case. Yeah, I I uh, ate and absorbed that herbal fridge, so may as well use it. All right. Well, uh, Cla Claudia takes the coffee and drinks it. Ooh, yep, that's some good stuff. Alrighty. 
<sighs> All right, look out, world. Claudia is in business. And it doesn't take you very long to actually get to the power plant, but you do see Lucius uh, pushing his cart of cleaning supplies toward uh, where the front gate would be. Oh, jeez. Yeah, there he is. Is he a cow, though? He is a cow. There he is. Wow, he'd fit right in with the typical adventures with me if he's trying to get in that way. Not that I turn into a cow, but yeah. Okay, well, if he is here, uh, that could be a problem. Oh, you think he'll cause problems for us? Or you think he's going to get spotted? Either way, I don't want to... Either way, uh... But if he gets spotted and he's trying to come in, doesn't that just, like bring a lot of guards away from us so we could get into the computer and stuff. Yeah, but then they're then they're going to spread out and look for other intruders. At least I would Yeah, but if we get that. if we get to the computer, it won't matter. Danger yeah, will true. multiply. Otherwise, we'd have to pick him up and take him with us. All right. So what? We're just going to let him be then? Well, that's up to you guys. It's your plan. You Want to stop and pick up the cow, dude? Or, or, or is he still a dude? Uh, if his idea is to sneak in as a cow maintenance person, I am not going to be a cow to get in that way. <laughs> you guys can do that if you want. Um, I don't know how I'll get in, but uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, uh, it seems like, <clears throat> it seems like Rollo and Russ are both in favor of tracking him down, and Eric and Claudia are more concerned with just getting to the core. Uh, what do you think, Dragomir? I think we should probably figure out what he's doing. Because that way, if he at least if he wants to act on his own, we can uh, take advantage of each other to do stuff. <laughs> I mean, it sounds I mean, bad, we, but <laughs> we can probably would make sense to figure out. Problem is, what? How can we figure out? I mean, we could ask him, but that's but if he's. Dude, this, that guy is such a wild card. Why do you have to show up today? I don't know. I mean, we fought him before, so yeah. he's definitely uh, a what, weird guy. Was that... Uh, actually, I mean, my dad kind of used him to, for a trial for us, but hey. <laughs> no. Yeah. He was trying to break into my dad's temple and, uh, got stuff weird happen to him. What kind of weird? Like, dude already looks pretty weird. He looks weird from the server stuff, I think, because of the temple. Oh. Maybe. I mean, you don't that just explains why he... That explains why we haven't seen him before. Yeah, he must have been- he was something else before, but, uh, I guess he just stuck with it. Or my dad left him that way. <laughs> I mean, you don't break into a temple of Baihu and then expect, uh, to, like, stuff to go right. <laughs> Your dad is Baihu? Yep. Huh. The white tiger stuff didn't tip you off? There's not very many of us. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> well, uh... Yeah, my last name. <laughs> Look, I'm tired, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yes. 
All right. Well, so are we gonna pick up Mr. Cowdo then and figure out what he's doing if he'll even tell us? Yeah. Uh, let's see. So how do we wanna how do we wanna split up? So we're going to completely split up then with this instead of just picking him up <laughs> or uh. I mean, I have to take you guys no matter what, so I don't really have much of a choice. <laughs> yeah, but we can split up once we're inside. Yeah. Well, I need to get to the computer room. Okay. All right. Uh, Russ, want to come with me and catch a cow? Russ nods. And I'll take Eric down to the core. Actually, I guess we better fall back, follow Bast into the computer room, and then go to the core. Yeah. Oh! Russ, since you got Valorant stuff, I'm gonna give you something that can help you get out of Dodge. Here, Russ hold this. extends a tentacle forward. Bastion passes over Spider Cat! <laughs> well, the first thing Russ does with it is accidentally grow some extra arms. That, oh yeah, you're not, you're definitely uh, not experienced at that. Uh, if it even is gonna be permanent for you, but um, no, no, okay. Um, hold on, let's see, can I do this? Bastion will try to grow a monitor to give like basic uh, 10, 10, 11 year old kid drawing instructions for Valgrinism. <laughs> you just give me, uh, like, can you just help me shot web? I mean, I don't know how you're getting that all mixed up. Uh, here, here, I'll, I'll connect the tentacle and help him work it out. <laughs> all right, well, uh, you get him into a bit better shape. Uh... You just focus on that data and pull it out to change your form. You got your you got your base form in there. You can change back to it any time. It's just to get out. It's just the form, some form data cast over temporarily, unless you want to. He keep it. he try he tries doing the thing and uh, shoots some silk out the window. Okay, yeah, I think I can work with this. All right. Yeah, it's just a form to help you get out of dodge. Because, I mean, it's small and cute. I mean, it can be big, too, but it's you can climb up the walls and you can oh, pass that. to the other, um, you know. I mean, if you want to shoot web, too, then go ahead and shoot web. But it's more like, uh, it's if you need to get out, you can get out. It's hard for him to follow you in small spaces. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so, uh, you, uh... You go around the guards. Or, you go around the, uh... Go around the fence, uh... Are all of us going through the fence right now? Even the people going after the cow? Yes, uh, the fence looks like it's pretty high voltage, though. High voltage fence, huh? Mm-hmm. So, what will you do? You could pass through it if you, you don't if you don't mind getting yourself zapped pretty hard. Why don't you bring over the Galvantula into the oh no spider cat bus? There we go. Yes, that will work. Oh, yeah, this is Gal very weird Gal looking, but whatever. <laughs> hey, and everybody's inside, so if I go up, maybe I can bring everyone in in one go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, Yep, everybody uh, gets kind of just drawn into Bastion's goo space while he uh, phases himself, while he squishes himself through the fence. 
and you're through without any problem. Yeah, well, here's the stop. Everybody off yeah. the cat bus. Fighter cat bus, whatever. <laughs> it's shocking. Tentacle space, tentacle goose space, whatever you want to call it, yes. All right. Yeah, everybody but, off. Claudia. Yeah, Claudia looks a little weirded out by uh, getting all gooped up. But she is trying very hard to play it cool. Eric is Eric is just trying to clean it, clean all the goo out of his fur. It'll come off and back in the knee, don't worry. There's either that or we would have to pull over the drill tank that oh, maybe Ah Koopa Dad may have fixed too, it up already. Way too conspicuous. Yeah. And Koopa Dad may have fixed it up already, can he considering we told him not to touch it, but he probably has, so. Alright. Well we're here. Everybody off. It's time to split up. Alright. I cannot sneak as a cat bus, so <laughs> Well, I could probably sneak as a cat bus, but it's not like through this place. Alright, uh Rolla says, Dragomir, uh, going with us or going with Bastion? Uh, I'll go with Bastion. Alright. Let's do this thing. Alright. Wait for everyone to get off to change back to normal. Hmm? Okay. And you guys, uh, you guys split up. Actually, if we're sneaking, Bastion will probably not... Well, actually, no, his... Dragon form is tigery catish enough to still be sneaky, right? I don't know if it if the cat form if full little ti if a tiger this place your tiger will be sneakier than the uh, dragon tiger thing. I mean, we know he's got paws and dragon thing, I think. So I don't know. So, uh, Drag so Dragomir is a stealth expert. Uh, Dragomir, are you, are you going to rely on your skills and training to get everyone to the computer room? Without being yes. spotted? Alright. That is the plan. Alright, roll with focus. Bash will ask Dragomir whether he wants him to stay dragony or go like cat again. <laughs> like tiger, whatever, whatever he thinks is easier for stealth. <laughs> I mean, Cat is probably easier for stealth. Alright, well, Panther Tiger, or Lucario Tiger thing it is. Okay, so I want to roll. Roll with focus. focus. So, yeah, that was a, not a very good roll I got there. Rolled a four plus two, so I rolled a six. Ouch. Okay, well, uh, Bastion, do you want to mark one fatigue to help him bring it up to a seven? Jeez. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Even though I'm going to be at two fatigue, it's going to make it difficult to fight. But... All right, well... Uh... So what happens is uh, you guys uh, nearly run face first into a uh, into some patrolling drones, but uh, you're able to quickly improvise a, a a cardboard box hideout, and they don't even seem they don't even seem to notice. But uh, yeah, that was really close. All right. So I'll Dragomir, you mark one fatigue as well. Okay. All right. Before we fight the uh, T Rex guy, if we gotta, we're gonna need you guys to take off, take it first, so I can uh, prep myself. <laughs> Eric nods. Gotta get that fatigue right. out of the way. <laughs> okay, to the computer room. All right. 
All right, so it's time to put your plan into action now that you've reached the control room. All right, we actually, wouldn't there be actually like wouldn't there be a guy here like actually operating the control room? I don't know. It depends. If they're drones, they might work automatically. It just depends. No, this would be an engineer. Well, we have an inside engineer. That's true. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's the same dude or not, but hey. Let's, yeah, let's say it's the same dude. Uh, Alright, well, uh, you do startle him when you, uh, when you open the room. Open the room, when you open the door. Who are all you? Uh, who are you? <laughs> uh, I don't have a name for this guy. Do you, it, if he's a friendly engineer that will join a tsunami, call him Sid. I don't know. <laughs> or Cedric, I don't Wait, no, you're gender bending a lot of them, I don't know. Or is, oh, you guys! A... Oh, you guys are tsunami, aren't you? Right? The did Russ bring you here? Mm. Russ Davidson. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> okay, we're really doing this then, huh? Yep, but we're trying to avoid like fighting everything, so. Oh. Came here because I got a plan. All right. Uh, which computer is for the drones? Uh, it would be that one over there. He points toward a. Uh, he points toward a big rubber box plugged into the wall. Did you make the computer on a rover? Eh, well that's I fine. Make, I... I didn't make it. It was given to us by the company. <gasps> I could probably extract some neat data from this, too. If only we had uh, our bird friend here for all of this. Am I going to have to start learning computer stuff to pick up for our bird friend? Uh, hold on. All right, I got the perfect idea. Uh, I'm probably going to need some help if you know some computer stuff. But, hi. Hehehe. <laughs> All right, this is gonna try to figure out yeah, how to tell, connect to the thing. Yeah, tell you what, if you can, uh, if you can log into that, I'll uh, help you with anything you need. All right. Well, Bass is gonna try to figure out how to connect and Valgrin his way in there. Yep. Uh, all right. Well, he's got that weird nanite and like the net avatar thing. He can send in there if he needs to. So. <laughs> Okay. Well, uh, yeah. This is pretty. This is pretty familiar stuff for a Valverin. Roll. Uh, you're going to rely on your skills and training. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. Roll of focus. <laughs> Hope your roll is better than mine. <laughs> My roll is seven. Okay. Um. All right. Well, uh, you think you might have uh, you think you might have left a trace of your of your attacking attempts, but you did get in. Uh, what do you want to do about that? A trace of a hacking attempt, huh? Yeah. The server knows it's been interfered with. Simple enough. That first, we need to get the thing going. Like we need to get the hit, hit a plan going for the guards. But then the other thing is uh, have some chaos energy pulses from the tentacle because it's not like the thing hasn't experienced chaos fluctuations around here probably. So I mean, it, oh no, somebody's breached it, but it's chaos energy in a chaos in an area that is a chaos reactor. <laughs> All right. Uh... Yeah, uh, that should, uh, plausible deniability. 
you know, except for the heart part where everybody's behaviors are getting hacked. Well, only if they start attacking. Bastion is going to use some stuff he has from playing games. Specifically, their response to fighting and solving problems is to dance. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go with a whole uh, what is Henry Stickman interference with the guards. So they'll do a whole dance and everything too. The distraction dance. Exactly, yes. Yeah, I'd like the music, but uh, that seems kind I mean, of you're, you're having a kid, a little you're having a kid who plays video games hack into something. Of course, he's gonna do something like that. They're just gonna stay there dancing until somebody fixes them. <laughs> and hey, if the suits can play the music, why not play the music too? <laughs> all right, uh, yep, that ought to do the trick. All right, we'll make sure to leave the chaos pulse in there too, so it looks like just chaos interfered. Hey, and it's something chaos could do, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... How about I tell you... Alright, so uh, now we've got that settled, uh, how about we... How about I tell you what you guys are dealing with here? Alright. Alright, he pulls up a security feed of the core, and what you notice immediately is that it looks like Valus cells uh, mixed together with orbital technology. Just a gigantic mass of tentacles and cables and stuff. Uh, what the? Oh, oh, Mr. Garen is going to be upset at these people. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sid looks kind of guilty about all of this. So is Piff. Uh, but if it's Valos, hopefully that... Uh, I'm hoping it's not eating up all that stuff. But then we might be able to get it back with Mr. Garen's help. He takes the parts back. I was... I was hoping it would be okay, but I mean, it's... I mean, you only need to look around the power plant to know that it's doing something unpleasant. Yeah, we need to get in there and see what it's doing. We need to smash it. No, Claudia, we can't. We can't just smash it. That's gonna that unleash like a whole ton of chaos yeah, everywhere. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that either. I can't absorb all that chaos, and if I do, I don't know what would happen. Plus, there's uh, Mr. like the Valos and stuff. Like that's part of the dean. The dean needs to get that stuff. I would call Pip, but I don't know what he's doing, and... Well, he might already know, because I just said Pip, but, uh... We don't want him showing up, because then everybody will know. Huh. Uh, <laughs> you're making... Me, you're making Sid kind of nervous. Just trust me, Pip, is, if Pip and Stealth are not exactly combined. Yeah, I've heard stories. Well, if I gotta snatch the tentacles out of there and something bad starts to happen, I'll do it, but I just hope it'll be okay. Well, I know Mr. Garen won't hurt me. I know Valus isn't a bad thing, so... I just don't wanna... Well, it wouldn't be the first time I've ended up a ball of tentacles, but I still would prefer to uh, avoid that. If I can get those tentacles out and get them to Pip or Valos, that would be that good. So, who decided to use Valos tentacles, and how did they even get them? That's a good question, actually. <laughs> I just hope it means we can recover anything that's been absorbed. I know Valos can absorb all that stuff, but... Man. I, uh... I probably shouldn't say. Shouldn't say. Why is that? 
I mean, we're here to study what it's doing. You probably should say. Sid is starting to look a little afraid. What are you scared about with all this? Look, we're already here to figure out what this is doing. Hiding what it's doing is kind of going counter to even, like, helping all these guys out. Plus, look, I don't know a lot about Tsunami and stuff, but I'm from the guild. We're a mutual party. We're just here to- I'm here to figure out what the heck is going on. <clears throat> okay, well, it sounds like you're trying to plead with him to just tell you what he knows about all of this. Does that sound right? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, alright, roll with Harmony. Harmony! Hey, this is the one I leveled up! It bounced off Sylvie! <laughs> and it is a 10. Okay. Too shabby. It bounced off her booty. She did not attack it because she is asleep. She is normally the one that will launch the dice across the room, though, when I'm rolling it, because she'll be like, ah! Of course, Lucky does it too, but both of them are asleep. Yeah, they just went boop, bonk, bonk. I got lucky was asleep. I built the core too. I got this. I got the cells off the black market, and uh, don't really know where they came from beyond that. But the black market is selling Valor cell. They're messing with fire! Wow. Yeah, but anyway, I uh, I grew the cells into part of the core and built the machinery around that. It's got the it's got these roots going into the ground and uh, drawing in the cha drawing in the chaos from all around it. Mm. Converts that into orbital energy and sends it to the city. Okay. Shoot. Uh, it's drawing from the Great Unknown and stuff? Is it actually, like, shrinking the Great Unknown? I would hope not. It's not burning I don't know. I don't know about shrinking, but, like, if you go north of here, it's all just, like, it's... It's like white void for, like, a thousand feet out. Well, I could probably fix that. I, I hope so. Alright, so... well, once we get down to the core and check it out, if I need to, I'll connect to it to figure out what's going on. If I gotta... As long as I don't accidentally do the thing, because I don't think Mr. Garen wants another uh, a kid, unless it already count. If that thing is alive, then Mr. Garen's gonna be like... Uh... It's not alive. Okay, good. As Mr. Garen has already had other kids show up because people are using Valo stuff, so... As long as I don't do a thing to it on accident. Or Pip doesn't try to make a little brother, or whatever. If it's bad, then I'll... I don't know. We'll figure it out. And Jeez. getting this close to Valos might is going to be weird for me and everybody. Does Ava, does uh, do others here have anti chaos potions or something? I got some on our way in. Okay, good. Because while I'm used to this stuff, and I mean I've been attentable twice now because of things, right. Pip and a whole bunch of chaos, then. Okay, let's see. Rolo and Russ are with us, so one for me, one for you, Chloe. Uh, Dragomir, do you need one? If you have one, I, I would need one also. Here you go. It, and we'll just take on you. to the rest for later. Yeah, it, it will be bad for Russ to take one if he really is a Valgrind. It would make him sick. Like me, I can't take one, obviously. I mean, as you can see, my tentacles are... Well, are my tentacles actually weird right now? I don't know. They're a little funky. Yeah. I can feel it, and they're acting up, so... 
Yeah. Hopefully Pip can get here to take the stuff back if we need to, otherwise I'm gonna have to try to do something, and that's... gonna be weird. I'm not afraid of it, though. I know that kind of stuff is scary. The Vala stuff is scary to a lot of people, but I help Valus defeat some really bad stuff and save things, and... Valus is a good guy. I'm not scared of tentacles. I know Valus wouldn't want his stuff being used to eat part of a world, so... Let's get down there and figure out what this is. And say if you're worried, then, uh, right. worried about stuff, uh, go to the guild, or even go to the academy. Like, I, I know you might be scared if Valos is gonna be angry at you or something, but... He's, like, big on justice and stuff. He's not gonna, like, punish you, like, really crazy or anything. He's not, like, blind justice. It's, uh... I don't know. If anything, he might Valgrim you and then help have you try to help with engineering stuff and helping other Valgrims or something. I just know. Sounds like you're trying to guide and comfort him. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, roll with Harmony. <laughs> Harmony. Off the Sylvie butt. Oh my god! <laughs> 14! <laughs> the Sylvie! Your butt is good luck! <laughs> What are you doing, cat? Alright, he's... <laughs> Bounced off the butt! Double he's... sixes! Cat butt Yahtzee! He seems to believe you. <laughs> right, cat yeah. butt Yahtzee! Yeah, Alright. I'll do that. Alright, so then. So, uh... What are you guys planning to do from here? Well, we gotta get to the core, and see how things are, and how it works, and what's going on with it. I just told you how it works. Yeah, well, I mean, do you think we still need to visit the core? I mean... I need to figure out if it's, like, actually, like, eating up the Great Unknown in Chaos stuff. I'd like to... yeah, I'd like to see if... I'd like to see if it's as bad as I think it's gonna be, and if there's a way we could shut it down. Then let's do that. I, I say we should smash it. I say we should smash it before it gets worse. We Sounds need like to see how it, it would make it worse. <laughs> yeah! Please don't smash it. It's. You guys want to all end up... Like, the game says, you're a squid, you're a kid, you're a squid, you're a kid. You don't want that to be real. You you would unleash like a huge okay, burst of chaos. Okay, okay, okay. Jeez. <laughs> Look, we figure out how it works, and if we need to, we smash it. And I'll do what I can to get the core out of there and get the valor stuff out of there. Like I'm the only expert with the tentacle stuff here, so it's not like I have a choice. <laughs> I would call in Pip, but I don't know if he can show up here or will. It's like weird. Like sometimes, like I don't know. I guess like if you think about it, like if there's like a sort of destiny for you to do something, the Pip isn't gonna show up and like mess that up. Even though he's like a being of chaos, it's weird. I don't know how he works, but if we need to call Pip, we'll call Pip. But then that's bad news for any bad guys around here, so uh, we would want to get the heck out of Dodge. <laughs> so let's go and do this. Megan, did you catch all that? Yep, got it all written down. Perfect. And we'll know if the guards are alerted when they start dancing. <laughs> How specific were you in your dancing instructions? It's based off a game, and basically their reactions to fighting and problems are to resolve problems is to dance. Considering the game, when you dance in that game, it can often result in you being defeated. Uh, they're basically going to be stuck dancing until somebody fixes them. Okay, as long as they're not break dancing and then kicking us while they're dancing. Or something. <laughs> oh no, the, the, it's not that kind of dancing. This isn't Majima. 
I got a... Well, you've seen part of the Henry Stickman collection, but, uh... Yeah. Dreamed it when you were over here before. <laughs> no, I've shown Anoth. Oh. Uh, before he moved. We didn't get to that episode of the collection, but, uh, yeah. Good I mean, it's all over the place. <laughs> yes. Like, I'm sure if you just look up the distraction dance on YouTube, you'll find it. Oh, yeah. It's all over the place. That's a great description of what that game is. <laughs> yes. It's all over the place. All right, well, uh... <clears throat> could be worse. I could have done the cyberpunk route, but Bastion couldn't play that. It's too old. Because sometimes when you make a hack a, a, a robot, make it friendly, it will be, do you want a hug? And it will go over and hug somebody until it, like, knocks them out. So, <laughs> like, do you want a hug? Here are hugs. <laughs> it's very silly. Your definition of a hug and its definition of a hug are not quite in sync, I'm afraid. Yes. Okay, well, on your way down to the core, uh, you spot a trio of uh, apparently unconscious drones, and the other six are just dancing. The other six are just dancing next to them. Somebody already came through here? What the heck? Is it the others? We better hurry. Well, uh, you hurry down. You hurry down to the core, uh, and you Ew. see, and you see that security mech there. But uh, yeah, uh, Sid tells him to shut down. Uh, Sid tells him to stand down, and he does. He just kind of sits there and watches. Uh, hold on, what was that? I couldn't hear you over the rain. I said. You go. You get down to. You get down to the core room, and it's probably time for a change of music. Actually. Yeah. Oh, yep. <laughs> There's a distraction dance. Here we are. All right, so here you are in the core. Uh, the the uh, robot T Rex is here, uh, but uh, he's just sitting in the corner and watching. So who knocked out all the security guards? Is there anybody else around, or just the robot dude? There's nobody else here. What the heck? Something actually, here. there's a. Actually, guys, there's a janitor here that I don't think I've ever seen here before. A janitor? It's not Carl, is it? Who's Carl? Uh, Carl's a janitor from the Hero Academy who shows up when students are in danger, and he's very weird and very strange and. I don't know. You never know what he's going to look like. Uh... Right, well, I guess I... I guess the thing to do is look through the security footage. And, um, I'll get back to you guys on that. Uh, I don't know if Carl would come here to take get Valo stuff, but, uh... Let's see what's going on. Something is definitely strange here. Yet another infiltrating janitor. Oh no. Carl is, li he... is liable to break through the wall like a Kool-Aid man that do stuff more as he is to sneak in. 54th janitor or something. So if somebody else snuck in, who would it be? Alright, well we need to... Shoot, we gotta get to that core. What happened here? 
that dude is just waiting? Alright, you guys, what do you want to do? We need to get to that core, but, uh... Uh, it's okay, guys. I told him to stand down. He won't bother Who would have stand... Who would have stand down? Pothead. T-Rex? Yes, the T-Rex. His Who? name is his name is Hothead. Who told him to stand down? Sid. Sid? Oh, okay. Alright. Something is up with that janitor, I think, though, so let's be careful. Bastion, your uh, your tentacles are acting up. There's a lot of energy being pumped through this room. Oh man. Before it's the dragon stuff, and now it's my tentacle stuff. Doesn't matter, we gotta get this... ...fixed up and out of here. Alright, so, uh... Ask me what you want to learn about the reactor. Well, gotta figure out if it's actually, like using up the chaos energy and like the great unknown signs point to yes is that energy that it's absorbing inside like the Valo stuff i mean is it's it growing bastion would probably know it's if it's not, growing or something. it's not growing the, it's, just, it's just passing through and being converted and being used up. <laughs> That's not good at all. Dragomir, you got any questions? Is there a safe way to to uh, disarm it. Hmm. Yeah, there's an emerg. Yeah, there's an emergency shutdown switch here. Tentacles don't even react this way in line around the spear, and but he keeps it all under control. Oh man, it's using up the energy. We need something to record this that this is what's going on. Because if it's just our word against somebody else's, that's not good. What if I sent the technical data to the Hero Guild? That can work. All right, I'll go ahead and do that. Pass some to me and Dragomir too, and the others, because we need to make sure just in case someone tries to interfere or something. Yeah, all right. Uh, make your way back up here, and I'll uh, I'll download a local copy for you. Hmm. All right. We need multiple copies of that, so. Backup copies. It's just, yeah, it's just data. You can copy it as many times as you want. Yeah. Okay. Let's get that copy and then get back down and get ready to shut this thing off. You guys want to figure anything else out about this? Maybe we can find a way to energy without shutting down half the city? No, if we shut this down, we're going to get uh, immediate reaction. Oh, that means more guards or something. It's, you know, someone's going to know something went down, like, immediately. 
Oh, we need to make our getaway. Yeah, um... You... <clears throat> uh... Well, actually, I don't know what all the drones are gonna do once the once their shift changes. It's using the same instructions, but the... Yeah, but, uh, you never know when, like, is... You never know when somebody not a drone is gonna show up. Yeah, as long as he's not, like, a Sephiroth, or would it be Sephiroth here, or... Sephiroth, because it's a girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's, uh... Get a copy of that data. Is shutting it down going to harm the Valo stuff? No. Okay. The other thing Bash needs to figure out is can he actually have. Well, would Pip actually show up here or not? If, whether he calls it, will he get a response or not? Or is this something. One of those cases where he. The, the heroes here have to deal with it. <laughs> but he knows ba uh, Pip is not always just going to show up because sometimes... This, is, this might be something the heroes have to deal with. Oh, man. It's some way to make energy. It doesn't make sense to use up part of the world. Can't you just use, like, solar and light energy? Not only that, but Valos and the Moon are tied together. Like, you could use Lunar. Maybe if we, maybe if we extend, maybe if we expanded our land, we could make solar farms. Uh, I don't, I don't blame anyone for not wanting to do that with Spalloon breathing down an X and all. Yeah, but this is using up part of the world. And the way to think about it, imagine if Spallone found out about this going on. Because this is affecting Spallone, too. If you're eating part of the world and Spallone is trying to expand in the Great Unknown, it's basically stealing territory from them and destroying it. That's not good. And the last thing you want to do is make it sound, make it sound like you're stealing toys from Strasburg because he's a spoiled brat and he'll have a temper tantrum. I don't think the Valos would want his stuff to be used like this either. I mean, supplying power to a place, sure, but not like this. And it's still strange that all the Sepith would be gone already. That doesn't make any sense either. Like, is the guy using this thing also the same person who says all the Sepith is gone? Lord Burning? Yeah. It... Kinda sus to you? I mean, I'm not a mining engineer. Well, yeah, but if you claim all the stuff is gone and then you have another alternative that you can monopolize... To make a bunch of money off of. I don't know. This whole thing stinks. I mean, it feels bad shutting off the power to a bunch of the city, but... Looking at the country outside and what it's doing... This could end up destroying the world, too. I can't just... No, I can't let this stand. I don't want to hurt people in the city, either. Me, either. Hmm. So, are we shutting it down or not? We gotta shut it down and get the battle stuff out of there. 
I know it'll hurt people in the city with the power and all that, but a power loss and then figuring out what's going on with the Sepith, whether it's true or not. Wait, we're talking about our choices are the world itself or having power to the city for a bit. Well, I'm... one thing to consider is like the street lamps you lose power immediately you could cause a bunch of car crashes yeah i mean nobody nobody lives north of here yet now i'm wondering if we should just keep this going until we can get an alternative. I don't think it's good to leave this going at all. If it's sucking up parts of the world, we need to get that back. Most of the world is probably out there in the great unknown still. Well, Alice wouldn't want this stuff to be used like this. Eric, wa Eric walks over to the switch. I mean, we gotta... Shoot, I don't even know what would be an alternative source for this kind of thing. Like I said, like solar and lunar stuff, maybe, but that's always there. the switch or not. <laughs> Asking a kid about this, that's pretty rough, man. Uh... I mean, we have the proof it's, like, actually using up the world and destroying stuff, so... Gonna make up your mind, Eric. Let's just do it. Hold Clark. on. I. This might be a kind of a dumb thing, but I don't think the guy who is abusing this should get like credit and be able to make money off of it. But if I take all this Valo stuff out of here, I don't know what it's gonna do to me. But if we use tentacle matter with like electric Pokemon stuff, maybe it can just. And, like, Valos is connected with, like, the moon, and I'm really strong in the sun. If we combine the two, maybe it can just generate electricity using solar and lunar power. Even though, I mean, part of me is doing it, but then the city isn't going to be suffering. Will that be, we... en will that be enough power? I don't know. I'm not an engineer. <sighs> I mean, I can call on the power of my with stuff from my family. Like, there's there's Raichu in my family. I've got uh, I don't know. I, I've got the uh, Galvantula stuff. Sounds like a thing that would be worth prototyping at least. Yeah. Well. My thought is we should shut this down, and I gotta get this Valo stuff out of here. And then we gotta find out if the Sepith really is gone, because I think that's suspicious. Claudia pulls a switch and then uh, shuts the core down. Oh. Alright. Since I can't get Pip to show up, I'm gonna try to see if I can get the Valo stuff out of here. I can get it back to Mr. Garen, maybe. This, uh... This machine is much bigger than you are. 
Well, I mean, <laughs> I figured that, but it doesn't. I mean, connecting tentacle stuff up to it, and he's got other cells passing around his other cells or whatever, and some of them are at the academy. I mean, one's at the academy. Maybe you can. I don't know. But. Well, the I mean, it's not like tentacle space isn't weirdly compressed in tentacle space <laughs> sometimes, so... Alright, well, when you plug into the... when you plug into the core, uh, the, the energy that's left uh, all goes into you, and uh, uh, your tentacles just kind of grow out of control and you get tenaballed again. Oh, jeez, I kind of expected this might happen. Oh, well, at least I've had it happen already before, so I can uh, deal with it. Yeah, the first time it happened, it was a real trip. For some reason, after it wasn't. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, it's fine. I kind of thought this might happen. All right, let's get the Valo stuff out of there. Oh, man, I'm going to stick out like a sore tentacle thumb. Oh, well. All right. Absorbing the core and leaving behind the horrible machinery. I mean, it... Yeah, I don't know if Bastion was absorbing the horrible machinery, too. That's kind of silly, but yes. Mm. Alright. Alright. <sighs> oh, man, I am seeing from everywhere. This is nuts. Feels like it's, uh... Reacting pretty strongly with your own tentacles. Oh, I don't think this is normal for the the Malgrins either. But whatever, I gotta get this to Valos when I can. Oh boy. Ah. Uh, Are you okay? Do you need healing? No, I'm okay. It's just tentacles see from everywhere. And like sense from everywhere, and it's 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 weird, okay. Like I said, as this has happened before, I'm kind of more used to it now. So I don't know what that says, but only Pip would have showed up to take this. But I bet he's happy that I got tentacled again. Maybe that's why he didn't show up. But I don't know. All right. Well, I, I've got all the energy making stuff and Valos energy making stuff in me. Which means that the energy in there is probably in here. It'll probably help if I can get to the Great Unknown and put it back where it belongs. But, uh, all right. I guess we got to get out of here now. Dragomir, uh, you just felt something... You just felt something moving in somewhere in the room with tremor sense. There's Boy. something. Sounded like uh, somebody smacking a hoof against the ground in frustration. There's something else we need to do though first. Oh no, the tentacle's already getting me. Uh, don't mind me acting weird. It makes me act weird. Dragon is the only one who should have noticed that. No, Bash is not react oh, saying okay. responding to that. He's going over the T-Rex thing and connecting tentacles, and uh, it, he's also going to put the dance stuff in the, in the T-Rex thing in case it turns on. Hot or head. try to. Hothead starts dancing, and he says something about, like, This is a dance that's been passed down in my family for generations! When things there are wrong go. and you don't know what to do, just dance, dance, dance! Here, let, let's... <coughs> Let's move him over near the switch, and then they could blame the, the, the... Yeah, the chaos stuff can take the blame for <laughs> shutting down the chaos stuff. Yeah, okay. Dragomir, let's go! Bastion has no idea he heard a thing. <laughs> so... Floating ball of tentacle matter. We. He's, he's just a floating, floating orb. Of tentacles, yes. <laughs> uh, someone else is in this building. 
Better not be Pip being late. Uh, I don't, don't know who it is, but they didn't like uh, shutting this down, I guess. Well, let's, let's, uh, no matter, let's uh, get out of here, I guess. We got the core, so. You, brother, you got the core, so. Or I am the no. core. Uh, you are the core. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here. I don't care if somebody's upset we shut it down. It's eating the world. Screw that. No, I don't mean that. I mean that whoever they are could cause us problems. Oh. Well, hopefully they weren't trying to steal the core. I don't need that. Of course, it could, it could just be... Uh, just be the cow, maybe. <laughs> oh yeah, because we took the glory and he can't milk it for all it's worth. Or the, or maybe it's the janitor. That could be the janitor. That's weird. Yeah. Well, let's get out of here. You guys ready? Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna feel weird for a while. Well, on the plus side, tentacles can change forms too, according to Pip. Oh. Well, uh, on your way up and out of the power plant, uh, Megan chimes in and says, uh, Guys, I don't want to I don't want to freak you guys out or anything, but I lost contact with Bro and Russ. Weren't they going to find Cow Guy? Uh, we should. What? We need to find them then. Yeah, sorry, I was watching you guys. That's... That's fine, do you have any idea where they're at? Um... I think... Uh, I think after you guys split up they went to the east block. We better find them, then. Yeah, I don't know what's... I don't know what's in the east block. Well, if we <clears> lost <throat> contact, that's not good. I mean, we did just cut the power, but we're talking you, too, so... If Cow Guy is causing problems, then, well... I'll whoop his butt, too. Or we'll whoop his butt, or something. I don't know. And it's fine. I'm okay. I'm only here, and here, and here, and here, and there, and here, and there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright, well, uh... It takes you, it takes you a little while, it takes you a while to search, but... You eventually find Rollo and Russ uh, knocked out and stuffed upside down into some lockers. What the heck? Who the heck did that? Okay, well, Bastion is Tenabali, so it's time for Tenabali to connect to them and give a little bit of a jolt. Wakey, wakey! <laughs> oh, uh, that, that's enough to wake them up. Oh, great! Waking up to a ball of floating tentacle of, like, fuzzy tiger dragon tentacle matter. Great. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Two. What happened to you guys? Why are you in a locker? How that cow happened. The cow? He roughed us up pretty good. Uh, dude is good with that glaive and mirror. Yeah, I fought him before. Uh, uh. The heck? Why did he rough you up? I'm guessing we weren't here for the same reasons. Well, yeah, at least he, di he didn't. 
didn't say why. He just uh, said it wasn't our lucky day. Where did he go? Well, uh, let's see. I saw him running off while I was unconscious. How's that sound? Well, I mean, you have Valgrin in you, it's possible. Well, if my tentacles know, I sure don't know how to... <laughs> Ask them. <laughs> oh, here, let me help! Uh-huh. Oh, uh, connect! Uh, it's, I mean, Bastion Tentaball is definitely more uh, Tentaball acting, so... Oh, uh, uh, let us see... Oh, load up the data, if you have it! Uh, do. Well, his tentacles it. are starting to grow out of control now, too. Oh! oh sorry! Oops. Sorry! Okay. Uh, -huh. uh okay. What I guess I didn't know. What the heck? Don't worry, you shouldn't tentable. I don't think... It's, I don't think it's a normal thing to happen, but, uh... That, it happened to me, but... Uh, uh, so... Don't worry. Uh, okay. So, something is up with that cow, dude. For sure. I mean, we fought. I fought him before, so it's. Was he hiding his strength, or did he just catch you guys off guard? Or... What is he doing here? Weird. Unless he was just wanting to steal all the glory again. Oh, well, we should probably get out of here. We got the core. Unless you think he's somebody we should take care of. Probably should get out of here, taking, turning off the reactor will cause a lot of uh, people coming this way, so probably be best to get out of the case. Uh, yeah, and if anything, if he's not an ally, then uh, if he's still here and the core disappeared, well... Probably buy us some time with that. <laughs> Mysterious. Oh, jeez. Phantom Thief Cow steals core. <sighs> Alright, well, we needed to find you guys and get you out of there. Um, I don't know if I can cat bus. Tentacle bus? It'd be like riding a UFO. And it's not so, gonna do weird things to us. Uh, maybe not. Probably not. I mean, it's either that or we try to I get out in the middle of all this. Chloe, I don't want to stick around here any longer. This. Sorry if I'm acting weird. Tenable is. Yeah, tenable thoughts are strange. <laughs> well, I'm with I'm with Eric. Let's go. Okay. Let's get out of here. Hmm. Hold on, is there any data around here? Bastion's gonna like poking tentacles everywhere, kind of just like... It, like he was crawling around with the tentacle. Boop, 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 boop. Let's see if we can find any of the cow stuff. Just spread it around a little bit before they leave. <laughs> Use, I mean, there are hoof prints. Well, there's quite obvious hoof prints then. Okay, well, let's just leave the hoof prints. Huh? Wait, hold on, I got an idea. He'll float off to grab some of the dancing guards and throw them in the locker while they're dancing. They are finding it rather hard to dance inside the locker. That's fine. They've been encumbered. <laughs> well, if that's where the that's where the hoof prints are going to, whatever, that's fine. Well, right, the, hoof let's get out of here. the hoof prints don't stop here. Well, of course not, but if they look like they stopped here to like for a bit, then sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's just get out of here. It's weird, tenable thoughts. I'm trying to figure out how. Yeah. He, I'm sure he's not as trippy as he was the first time, but. All right. Well, it's time to it's time to UFO fly on out of there. All right, tenable bus go, which is basically just a hovering ball bus of tentacles. And, Seats made out of tentacle matter, and seat belts made out of tentacle matter, and... This is so weird. You're telling me. Hey! 
You think it's weird? Try being the one who's the thing. Oh, man. Russ is trying very hard to keep all of his new tentacles from uh, just connecting to you and drawing in more weird. Alright, yeah, well, uh... The Valgar was temporary before, well, maybe it still is now? If not, uh... I don't, I'll help teach you stuff. Let's go! Floaty, 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 float! Doesn't t doesn't take long to get back to Russ's place. Oh, you know, I was thinking like my Charizard stuff was like all uh, like stuffed full of fire energy, and now and like my everything is stuffed full of everything. Oh man, I gotta get this Valo stuff back to Valo somehow. If I can, I hope. <laughs> Oddly enough, it feels phenom. right where it belongs. It feels right where it belongs? Yeah. Oh. Um... Well, that's concerning. <laughs> uh... See, like, I, I definitely know my senses are still a little weird. I'm hearing husky noises. Feeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
just thought of something. Like, there's no way Lord Burning is gonna take this line down. He know he knows about us. He's gonna try to pin. He's gonna try to pin this on us. Okay, we have the data. He was also killing the world. Plus, all what evidence does he have? It was even you guys. I mean, there's a hoof prints. Weird dancing, weird dancing drones, and chaos linked to it. And his own robot is dancing near the core, which might have caused the chaos. And a strange cow dude. I don't know if you guys have a cow dude in your group. Uh, I might have turned into a cow once or twice, or part cow anyway. You know what? Oh. This, no. Well. This, what I say is, if Lord Burning is such a villain, and he wants to blame you and come after us, I'll kick his ass. I, I, I mean, kick his butt. Sorry, some, sometimes adult me comes through. Okay, I'm just saying... Be possible for us to hide out at the Hero Academy or something? All of us go there? I mean, well, I could definitely probably teleport us there, but we need to find out this energy thing ASAP. Like, I can get you guys over there, and if he's gonna be looking for you guys, I could probably get you guys over there, but then, I don't know, maybe me and Dragonmir could check out the mines? Yeah, it's not I mean, like they I... know about us. I mean, hero, our, 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 that's heroes from the Heroes Guild could probably check out the mines if we get you guys out of here. I don't know. I mean, I gotta try to get the Valos stuff back to Valos, but it doesn't feel like it's... It feels like it's, uh... I don't know, it oh. doesn't feel like it's Valos stuff anymore. Or, I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, actually, uh, Russ, didn't you... You hired me through the Hero Guild. Like, we should have we should have protection. Oh yeah, uh, that's a good point. And we probably want to make sure the engineer is kept safe. Plus, uh, shoot, yeah, we should plus have we're, him come with us. Yeah, look, we're a neutral party. What do you mean, come with us? I was there. I'm part of the Heroes Guild. No, Sid. Oh, wait, he didn't come with us? I thought we took him with us. Well, if you took him with you, that's a different matter. I mean, if not, I bashed him because he's Tentable all bashed right now and more Tentable all thrown. Well, he'll just grab Sid with a tentacle. <laughs> Depends on if we took him with. If not, he'll grab him with a tentacle just suddenly. <laughs> are gonna roll from this aren't people used to villains doing stupid stuff around here i mean we have proof this lord burnington guy was like eating up the world to make money off energy hey there person nano deccan what we have to do is literally using something to eat the world to make energy for the city and if we can get to the mines and prove that he was, that, like, if something's up in the mines, and it's connected to him too, then that all falls on him. Wouldn't it? Hmm. I suppose so. And like I said, if we can get to where those, uh, where the fiber optics things are and reconnect them away from where the thing is, I might be able to at least connect, like, tentacle stuff to the internet. Send it down the fiber stuff. Maybe? I don't know. My thoughts are all weird. This Eldritch stuff is just messing with my head. Well, kind of. It's more like less inhibitions, I guess. I don't know. But it's still hero stuff. I mean, we, I can, te I can te uh, 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 teleport us back to the Academy. I'm kind of concerned why it doesn't feel like Valo stuff anymore, but... 
We need to get this. We need to get the city back up in power since we just cut off. How much of the city did we just black out? Uh, probably a third of it or more. Hmm. You know, if the cables are just going over the ground, why don't you make the cables like able like solar collectors? And like put it down there and stuff. Yeah, that would solve part of the issue. That or... thing was putting that thing was putting out a huge amount of power. Yeah, and now it's in here, and it's going to go back into the great unknown. My responsibility to fix that great unknown crap, and I'm not going to let somebody absorb it all. I mean, I like the internet and stuff, too, but generating electricity by eating the world is kind of dumb. It's self-defeating. It's more than just the internet. Like, what about the lights in the kitchen? Well, yeah, that too. Wait, horrible stoves don't... Do they need a connection? <sighs> well, your everyday household stuff might not, but the... Uh... So like, most think about... people should be fine? Yeah, but think about all the... Think about all the factories and stuff. That's where, mo that's where most of the power goes to. Are they factories owned by this... This dude? No. Are they owned by his friends? Does he even have friends? Wait. You know, what do you guys think? Uh, would you call Lord Burning and Lord LaCro Lord LaCroix friends? Sid's question is just met with shrugs. Burning LaCroix sounds like a terrible drink. <laughs> Cayenne LaCroix. Ugh. <laughs> Ghost Pepper LaCroix water, yummy! No! Huh. Well, Dragomir, what do you think we should do here? <clears throat> I might not be able to do it in a second because the hurricane is picking up again. Oh, it's just wind, that should be fine. Nice. Nice. That you can still hear me. Oh, yes. So, we probably want to make sure first that our, our evidence is secure. That would be the engineer and um, the plants and stuff like that. All right. Then we can, uh, then we can think about the two of us maybe going and checking out the Septium mines. There's more than one of us from the Heroes Guild here. The uh, yes, too. if we can arrange anyone else from the Heroes Guild, that's fine. Also. All right. Yeah, works so for me. I'm definitely in on this now. All right. So to the Heroes Guild first, huh? Yeah, it seems reasonable. Get everything secured. Okay, uh, everyone, hang, everyone, hang on. Huh? Oh, whoa! Teleport time, just because it's te hey, you teleport made time. You made an old Eldritch tentacle thing. He's going to be acting like it. So, okay. all right. Well, <laughs> uh, you teleport right over to the Hero Guild. Uh, you turn in the data to which the receptionist just kind of stares at it. What? It's proof the stuff was bad and killing the world and all that. Yeah. All right. And also guys... stealing from Valos, which, you know, is not a good you idea. Guys, you guys did... You guys... No, you guys did good. Uh, how soon can you get me the full report of what happened here? I'll, I'll do the write-up tonight. We're going to... I'm kind of suspicious there's something going on with the mines. 
So we're gonna head over there and check that out. All right. I might have to fly that way or whatever, because I haven't been there before, unless it's near where we were. Mishka, are you okay? What's up? Oh, I smell it. It's that burning smell. I wonder if she's sniffing. Must be that burning LaCroix. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like burning electronics. That's concerning. That's coming from outside. I hope it's not a transformer gonna blow again. Jeez. Last hurricane I missed out on streaming because of that. I want to repair that orbital cable. <laughs> Mishka, you okay? What is it? Sorry, I hit the microphone. You got something stuck in your throat? She does. Oh, she got something down the wrong tube. She was just drinking water. It's funny that dogs get, like, water down the wrong tube, too. So. <laughs> So do cats sometimes, but dogs I've noticed more often. All right. Well, it's 11.20, and uh, this seems like a good spot to put an episode break. That's fine. All right. With that, in, with that being said, it is time for the growth questions. Yahoo! Did you learn something challenging, exciting, or complicated about the world? Um, I would say yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's... We both learned more of, like, craft skills. We both learned about the weird fellows feeling stuff thing and all that. I don't know if that counts. Hmm. I'm not sure it does. Did you stop a dangerous threat or solve a community problem? But we I'd stopped say you, the dangerous you stopped threat. a dangerous threat and created a community problem. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> All right, so that's a yes. Okay. Did so you guide? Yes, did you guide a companion toward balance or end the session at your center? Uh, both of you should still be at center. Yes. So. Hey, yes. four of four. Mm -hmm. All right, Bastion. Did you improve? Did you improve the lives of a community of average citizens, or help an ordinary person with their problems? Well, I don't know about it. at the moment. It hasn't improved the thing, but it saved it saved from the world being eaten up. Unless you count Russ with the Valgrid thing, but I don't know. I don't Russ think that has happened. Russ and probably Sid too. Or, oh yeah, Sid too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you were able to reach out to Sid and help him. So that's a yes for you. Okay. Dragomir. Did you express vulnerability by admitting you were wrong or that you should have listened to someone you ignored? Uh, no, not really. Alright, that's a no then. Okay. All right, Bastion. Uh, you said your harmony is plus two. Uh, that's your growth advancement. Um, how much? No, growth, he, How much growth uh, are you at now? Five of four. Okay. So yeah. All right, and Dragomir. It. Wait, only five. Five of four. Yeah. Because before we ended with two, or no, we ended with uh, three or something. I yeah. thought both. No, didn't both of you take an advancement at the end of the last episode? No, that was the episode before. Okay. But we well, were we were both at the same, like two out of four or something like that. So. 
Okay. Um, in that case, Dragomir. Sh in that case, both of you should be able to take an advancement too, and Bastion yeah. will have one growth left over. Yeah. So it, it looks like from my notes here that I had two out of four from a, from a rollover. Okay. So so I guess two out of, out of four plus whatever we gain this time. Yep. That, gets us uh, over. Yep. that gives you enough for an advancement. Considering what just happened and Tenna Ball is going on, I'm going to put in creativity to put it three because that's Tenna Ball skills. So. All right. What? Do you, um, oh, yeah, you have Way of the Future. That's fine. I do. Yeah, I mean, I figure if he just went Tenna Ball and it picked up all this vet and all this stuff, it's the most fitting thing for growth. All right. <laughs> you have unlocked the true power of Tenta Ball. <laughs> I guess, yes. whatever what the heck is going on. <laughs> what about Dragomir? Uh, so... Did I... Did we gain three from this, was it? You, you gained two and Bastion gained three. You have enough Okay, so that means basement. that I have growth of zero out of four now. Yeah. You can okay, take, and you can then... Take a, you can take a bold move, you can raise your stat... You can shift your center, or you can unlock your moment of balance. Uh, okay, I guess I'll... Can't you take moves or something from that other playbook? or to your He playbook already or has or? two from other playbooks. He oh, has to take oh. the rest from the bold. Oh, oh, okay. Whoops. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll boost a stat, I guess. Okay, which stat? You can boost either your harmony to two or your passion to plus one. Yeah, probably boost my passion to plus one. Okay. Okay, I'm at. All right, and for my records, uh. Ha for my records, uh, you are at one fatigue, Dragomir? Yes, one okay, out of five. And Bastion has how much? Bastion currently has... Where is that? I cannot find it because the cat's a squirrel now. Uh, oh, no. two, uh, two fatigue. Two, okay. That's why he asked for the others if we got a fight to take up the first round so he could try to recover. Of course, now he's filled with tentacle power. <laughs> this is gonna be weird. Well, at least tentacles can change form, even though more tentacles or whatever. <laughs> so uh, let me fill you in on how this was, uh, how I intended this to go. Uh, I hadn't actually planned for Bastion to absorb the core the way he did. So, Lucius was going to go in and sabotage it. And, uh, cause a blackout anyway. Oh, jeez. And everybody would have been confused. The Ministry of Energy would have blamed Tsunami. Tsunami would have blamed the Ministry of Energy. And, uh... Yeah, stuff would have just... Gone weird. But, uh... Sounds Things like Bastion would have almost ended up ten ball anyways. <laughs> yeah, uh, he almost certainly would have been ten ball if he got caught in the resulting explosion. But uh, this works too. It's and now things are going to turn out a bit different. And I well, I mean, considering I Bastion, Bastion was leaving stuff that lead to like chaos result. Chaos sources and then, like the cow prints and stuff. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's gonna be interesting to see how things go. Bastion ain't gonna put up with any of the bad guys pulling crap anyway. So. Okay. Well, uh, good game, everybody. Thanks for playing. Alrighty. If only right. Pip showed up, then it would have been different, but I guess <laughs> Destiny has other plans. Or Pip just wanted to see Bastion go Tenna Ball, I don't know. <laughs> Destiny, Destiny also laughing. wanted to see Bastion go Tenna Ball. 
So great. And this is Valo stuff. Does that mean Pip is a half brother now? Jeez. Bastion's gonna end up freaking Riker at this point with all these family connections. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about family connection. I mean, Bastion kind of already inherited Tenaball stuff from Lunas. Yeah. I guess this probably just woke it up then or something. I don't know. Yep. Woo! Craziness. Now. So, uh, yeah. Good game, guys. Thanks for playing. Nothing mm -hmm. like going from a t from a, a Lucario to a tiger to a dragon to an Eldritch entity. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a step down almost. Well, I mean, he could become any of the other stuff just fine as his natural forms too, probably. Yeah. So it's uh, <sighs> it's not like an Eldritch entity is like an Eldritch entity that can turn into things. It's like an Eldritch entity that is also these things. <laughs> it's. I don't know, it's only it's just weird. good times. Okay, as for the Ouch. events of tomorrow, uh, what are we gonna do, Fox? Donkey Kong Country? We can do it, we can probably try Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country or East. It depends on what the hurricane's gonna do. That's true. honestly. Like if the power goes out, like last hurricane. I mean, Ian was a freaking category four, like three when it although my power went out before it was even hurricane winds here. There's her there's a getting close to hurricane winds here now where the power hasn't gone out but uh i don't know if the power is gonna hold i hope so i mean the thing is strengthening more than they said it was supposed to so we might get a cat too but it's not enough to board up the windows or anything we'll see if the power holds out if we can i can do maybe donkey kong it also depends we might have to do trails because it depends on how bad the, the storm is going to get because the pressure drops more and it uh, absolutely blows my back out okay so we'll see it really depends on what the, it's entirely dependent on what this hurricane's gonna do. Okay. Because some of it has it hitting south of me, some of it has it going directly into me. So actually going south is worse because that means we'll get the worst side of it. But hitting me directly will have the harder pressure drop and be harder on my back. So. Okay. I've already been through the eye wall of Ian. I don't need to go through the eye wall of uh, whatever Nicole. I think it is. So. We'll see. All right. Well. That'll be it for me tonight, too. I got the kitties and the wolf here waiting to go outside. Look at him. Oh, honey, here, room the kitty. Room the kitty. There All you right. go. That's going to be it for my side of the stream. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. There we go. He's grooming the kitty. Oh, and uh, Thursday night, might not be able to draw it. Got another mm -hmm. uh, thing with my class. So, All right. Uh, afterward, might be Metroid, maybe. All right. See ya.